in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed the worst spirit in my opinion demonic spirit now is not death death is just the last enemy not the worst the worst spirit is not the spirit of infirmity that causes sicknesses now the worst spirit listen carefully is not even demonic attack dreaming of somebody chasing you up and down the worst spirit is the spirit that can cause blindness in your understanding the bible says it is able to make even the word of god unfruitful that the god of this world has an assignment to create a system of blindness over the minds of the people so that they are not open to the glorious gospel it is the worst state a man can be in not sickness not failure not poverty none of these things in themselves destroy it is our attitude around them that empowers them to destroy us but blindness whether you do something about it or not it will destroy you blindness every time jesus saw blind people he was very he was intentional about their healing blind people are mad people these two categories anything that affects your eyes and your mind is truly demonic are we together there are people doing exploits in the world today without hands there are people doing exploits today without the ability to speak there are people who do not have limbs and are doing all sorts of things but you will seldom find a madman do anything that is impactful there are people who can even you know just rise above the limitations of blindness but you look at their lives and you know that it is not easy when god opens your eyes and opens your mind is a true miracle are we together now i was sharing i can't remember where now um, i think it was one of the departments i do not know that i was having a meeting with them and then i was sharing with them how that a man is not truly delivered until he receives grace that gives him passion for the word any man that rejects the word is oppressed even if he does not see any spirit in his life you don't have to have a dream of a demon chasing you the moment there is a resentment for the wisdom of the word it is it a sign that your life is acutely under an attack are we together blessed be the name of the lord and so as the word of god comes please i i challenge you to open up your heart see it as the word of his grace that is coming to you regardless of what the limitations are pay attention to the word they looked unto him and they were not ashamed their faces were lightened looking at your situation will not change anything but if you look to the word the word has a force that the anointing follows the word not a man the anointing looks like it is following a man because that man is following the word are we together now the anointing does not follow men the anointing follows the word blessed be the name of the lord be fruitful write it down that's our topic for tonight be fruitful if i were you i would say amen, amen. Mm. open our eyes in the name of jesus
let the word of god change us genesis chapter 1 and verse 26 we're reading to 28 the lord declared this year by his spirit that is a year of extraordinary fruitfulness and my assignment is to guide us by the spirit on the principles allocated um, for our fruitfulness our productivity and our efficiency in the kingdom and tonight we're dealing with something very very important genesis chapter 1 and verse 26 and elohim said let us make man so man is the subject here after our inner image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea the fowl of the air the cattle over the earth and every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth 27 so god created man in his own image in the image of god created him male and female created he them 28 and god blessed them and god blessed them the bible didn't say and god discussed or he said to them please listen and god blessed them and said unto them some other version say and god blessed them saying so he routed the blessing through words but the blessing are not words the vehicle for communicating them is just a word he can choose to use any other mechanism remember he's god and god blessed them and said to them first instruction be fruitful and multiply not all multiply be fruitful that means fruitfulness is not the same as multiplication are we together when the bible says something or something it means either of the two holds the same value but now he's saying be fruitful then in addition to fruitfulness multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it then he says have dominion etc etc so tonight we are picking one be fruitful and we want the lord to open our eyes and to understand god's idea of fruitfulness colossians chapter 1 verse 9 and 10 praise the lord colossians chapter 1 verse 9 and 10 for this cause we also paul is speaking since the day we heard of it do not cease to pray for you and to desire that ye be filled with the knowledge of his will and in all wisdom and spiritual understanding verse 10 that ye might walk worthy of the lord unto all pleasing being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of god being fruitful not in some in every good work hallelujah so we see from scripture that fruitfulness is a command fruitfulness is a command in fact jesus demonstrated in his own earth work how much he resented on fruitfulness once upon a time the bible tells us that jesus was on his way back and he saw a fig tree and that the tree had green leaves in other words it was attracting his attention but coming to the tree he discovered that there were no figs and jesus not a prophet that is still being renewed not an apostle in the making jesus himself looked at the tree and cursed the tree and said that no fruit will come out of you again and by the next day they came and discovered that it had withered right from the root so god is passionate about fruitfulness are we together please write this down to be fruitful means to increase to increase to be fruitful means to be productive fruitfulness entails increase fruitfulness entails productivity fruitfulness entails enlargement and expansion are we together fruitfulness entails evidence evidence you are fruitful to the degree to which your life can produce evidence what evidence evidence of the faithfulness of god 
evidence of the investment of God upon your life evidence of the supremacy of the word in your life why do we need to be fruitful it's important we know let me just address that because we have a lot to deal with why do i need to be fruitful because you know there are christian circles today well meaning that think subjects like this should not be the believers should not be bothered with the subject of fruitfulness why because most times when we talk of fruitfulness all they think about is money and physical things they just look at fruitfulness um, in terms of affluence physical and material blessings and then they convince themselves that anyone can live without them and then they assume that all those things are distracting but the bible says we need to be fruitful in every good work every good work every good work are we together why do we need to be fruitful john chapter 15 and verse 8 we'll still make reference to that scripture but please go with me very quickly to john 15. i pray that god opens your eyes to understand this once and for all mm. verse 8 herein is my father glorified when you bear much fruit how is the father glorified when you bear much fruit when you bear much fruit when a man pays the school fees of his son and the son returns back with a report card and says daddy out of 90 students i took number one and my average is 91 i am doing well that child is fruitful that child justifies the investment of the school fees are we together but on the flip side if the child returns back with a report card and is written there need to see the parent and zero from top to bottom is that child fruitful no the the father is angry for many reasons one he's angry because he's the father are we together just being the father alone is enough to upset him the owner of this child that is carrying this shape are we together two because his resources a symbol of his energy was committed into that boy's life so the bible says the father is glorified when we justify his giving us the holy spirit when we justify his giving us his wisdom his favor remember our scripture here that has become an anthem when god makes all grace to abound towards you he expects fruitfulness in other words he in his mind he does not see that there should be an excuse in your life because all grace has been well coordinated towards you if you're with me say amen, amen. the father is glorified when the saints bear fruit all kinds of fruits number two bearing fruit also inspire and encourage you most people do not know that when they bear fruit their, their own spiritual lives also continue to grow spiritual barrenness is very dangerous and barrenness in every regard is dangerous biologically speaking when people experience any kind of barrenness it's not something that is received with gladness it's something that challenges them can even destroy their marriage so we know for sure that any form of barrenness calls for action are we together now yes hearing is my father glorified but then god gives you consolations that my life is producing fruits producing fruits producing fruits the third reason why we need to bear fruit is because our fruitfulness is a message to the world that god is true our fruitfulness is a witness that can cause men to believe in god very important john chapter 1 please and verse 6 john chapter 1 john chapter 1 and verse 6 our fruitfulness there was a man sent from god the bible says whose name was john seven the bible says he the same came for a witness what was his assignment to bear witness of the light that through his witness all men might believe so when you are fruitful through your witness 
men might believe god is depending on men to believe in him but their faith is routed through your results are we together now that means that there is a dimension of my result and your result that has the capability has the ability to make men believe god if it is true that we are passionate about seeing his glory revealed then we must truly desire to be fruitful to the end that men look at our lives the last verse galatians 1 yes 24 and they glorified god in me galatians 1 24 and they glorified god not just through me in me and they glorified god not they glorified me and they glorified god in me are we together gentiles need to see the light the results the evidences of god's hand upon our lives let me tell you something my brothers and my sisters results are a language it is true when you bear fruit even fruit that abides it is a language that speaks to creation about the faithfulness of god it is a language that attracts creation to the one true god the source of all lifting so god is passionate about our bearing fruit mighty god settle it once and for all that god is glorified in my fruitfulness settle it once and for all that god is glorified in my fruitfulness when i am fruitful when i am productive when my life begins to produce evidences that god is glorified let me tell you something about fruitfulness you can say the same thing without fruit and say the same thing with fruit and the impact will be east and west fruitfulness makes your words heavy when you have results your words are worth believing the words of a fruitful man are seldom contended with when people speak from a standpoint of results there is a compelling conviction that it brings to you and so if we want creation to subscribe to this life that we so propose day and night telling them jesus is the way the truth and the life telling them that he is the one who can lift men god is counting on our lives to be able to produce that message and in the name of jesus he will find he will find a real witness in you yeah. be fruitful is a command in the loins of prophecy when god was looking at adam and prophesying he saw joshua selman he saw koinonia and he said be fruitful in other words i forbid barrenness i forbid barrenness i forbid barrenness in your life be fruitful but like every other mystery in the kingdom there are there are we are mandated to understand the spiritual systems like i've always taught you uh, that our results depend upon i've taught you again that between your desire and the manifestation there are spiritual systems that connect them are we together i've told you the prophetic speakings of god that when god speaks he does not speak as though he's talking to a man he speaks as if he's talking to himself and so some factors will not be captured in his speakings it will take the spirit of revelation to break what god has said down so that you now see how you connect to that word god can look at you and say where is the house and you are sitting down wondering and say god who are you talking to and then he says i'm talking to myself you see that it is the spirit of revelation that will break that down so that you begin to understand that god does not speak like men knowing how god speaks is very powerful and it is a spirit of revelation that can help you and help you understand the communications of god are you with me tonight yes so there are mysteries secrets principles you can call them allocated for fruitfulness wishing fruitfulness is a waste of time 
just having a strong desire for fruitfulness is a waste of time it may be beneficial for a while because at least it can draw you to the secret place where you create the atmosphere for the spirit of revelation according to proverbs 18 and verse 1 it says desire through desire a man having separated himself it says he seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom but that in itself does not make you fruitful there is a lot of superstition in the body of christ ask the average christian do you believe in results fruitfulness productivity he or she will say yes and then you ask them how is it going to happen then you will hear the variety of ignorance expressed through many well-meaning words but the bottom line is i don't know some will say jesus would do it and it looks very right just because the name of jesus is in part of that that erroneous statement jesus would do it others would say i will work hard i will do my best we are called to walk circumspectly everybody says circumspectly i told you that in a man's dealings with god creativity is almost not needed it is obedience it is when it has to do with dominion and kingdom legislature that is where your creativity comes the principles that make for your greatness are not left for your guessing they are there listen please when you get this you will stop wasting your time trying to crack your brain to know god trying to crack your brain to get truth no truth is not an idea it's not just the function of the mind you don't reason truth it is revealed there is a body of knowledge allocated for your results are you getting what i'm saying now yes if i have this bottle of water it's already there my assignment is to find it not to try to look for a way of 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 refining water and all of that and and and, and purifying it no it's already there this is how truth is don't think that truth is like many ideas that you crack your brain to just download no it is given and received otherwise it is not there if it is truth then it is not subject to the ideas of men it's something that comes from god if you get this you will be restful your assignment is to create the atmosphere for that truth to come lord what are the keys towards my fruitfulness and you remain there waiting like a waiter and the spirit of revelation comes and when it comes upon you the secret is revealed he says then the secret was revealed unto daniel listen every truth in the kingdom is revealed 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 every truth in the kingdom is revealed if it is truth then it was revealed whether the custodian of that truth admits that it was revealed or not the bottom line is that it was revealed so all of the spiritual activities that you go through for truth to come is only preparing the atmosphere for truth to come if the spirit of revelation does not bring you truth my brother and my sister you will end up conjuring sophia human wisdom ideas that cannot stand the test of time you can think ideas you can read books here and there and connect things but truth is revealed are we together And the Lord showed me something very powerful. And that's what I want to share with us. The mystery of fruitfulness is enshrined in a very silent parable that I want us to deal with right now. Hmm. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Luke chapter 8. Mighty God, open our eyes and help us see. Wherever we stop tonight, we'll pray. Luke chapter 8. We're reading the first 15 verses. Look at this. We call it the parable of the sower. It's not the parable of the sower. It's a kingdom mystery hidden in a story and kept only to be revealed by the spirit of revelation. Just because you read this does not mean you will have an understanding. Now, you can give a theological explanation as to what you think was happening. You can even write a book about it. But my brothers and my sisters this is sealed until it is open you will never see what is there 
Are we ready now? So let's read. It came to pass afterwards that he went throughout every city and village, Jesus now, preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God, and the twelve were with him. Verse 2. And certain women which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities, Mary, all of that, together they went with him. Verse 3. Um, okay, so, you know, the Bible is just giving us the setting now of all of this. I think it starts from verse 4. And when much people were gathered together and were come to him out of every city, he spake, but he spake by a parable. He communicated, but he used a parable to hide the secret. What is the parable? Verse 5. A sower, a sower went out to sow his seed. Follow the story. A sower, no name. He went out to sow his seed. So whoever this sower is, we know that the sower was desiring fruitfulness. Are we together? Nobody just goes to sow seeds just because he feels like throwing seeds. So one, the sower had seeds. Number two, the sower was a sower. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Listen. A sower went out to sow his seed. And as he sowed, it's amazing that everything that happened by the wayside and the rest was called sowing. It was not a mistake. Hmm. As he sowed, some fell by the wayside. Listen. And it was trodden down and the fowls of the air devoured it. Two. Some fell on a rock. And as soon as it was sprung up, it withered away because it lacked moisture. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up with it and choked it. And other fell on good ground. So we know that they didn't just fall. That falling is sowing because even on the good ground, it uses the same word. So it's not like the seed, maybe a bag with holes, and then it fell until it got to the good ground. No, he sowed. There is a soil called the wayside and he sowed there and he watched what happened now the first thing we have to be thankful for is that God did not hide the failures of this sower otherwise we would have been deceived about fruitfulness the Bible gives us the complete story of the struggles of this sower to the end that we may have a balanced understanding are we still together let's continue our story the Bible says an order fell on good ground and it sprang up and bear fruit an hundredfold and when he had said these things he cried Jesus started crying imagine that as I'm teaching you now I just finished then I, I pause and I start crying when the Bible says he cried in many regards he really cried it's not just that he lifted his voice loud he really cried why did he cry he that had ears to hear let him hear how can you finish talking to people my brothers and my sisters this is jesus adult jesus not the child learning something in the temple and you stand and teach people and then start crying do you know why because we're saying wow jesus are you this smart and jesus said oh dear jesus was revealing through this story what was happening as he was teaching It was not just something that happened one day alone. He was crying because there was a repetition of that story real time as he was talking. He being the sower. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Yes. Let's go back to verse 5 now. There are certain informations that we really, really need to believe and understand about this to help our fruitfulness I, I just thought to explain this parable notice that jesus was so passionate about this parable he didn't allow any human being interrupt the interpretation he said i will interpret it myself there are many times he would not interpret certain parables he would just leave them but this one he says so that there is no confusion i will explain and in many times jesus will leave some details out in explaining a parable but this one every single detail was explained to tell you his level of passion let's go to verse 9 let's finish and then we'll come back to verse 5 go to verse 9 and his disciples asked him saying what might this parable be 
are we ready now let's hear jesus interpret his own parable and he said unto you hallelujah it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of god this is how he started interpretation jesus interpreting now and i said leave that matter the reason why i will interpret this to you is because that thing you see is a coded message but unto you it has been given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of god but to others in parables that seeing they might not see and hearing they might not understand every time the bible use hearing twice the second hearing is understanding are we together now next verse now the parable is this i love jesus now the parable is this number one the sower the seed is the word of god mm. the seed is what not a business idea we are talking fruitfulness here the seed is not an investment plan listen carefully the seed that produces that harvest is the word of god number two those by the wayside are they so those soils are people listen carefully people who have hearts the wayside are people the rocks all of that they they are different states of people's hearts notice the goal is to produce result but everything is happening inside a man's heart it just uses a farm to explain the entire labor of that fruitfulness is happening within the man not outside the man are we together tonight it says those by the wayside are they that hear then cometh the devil and taketh away the word out of their hearts are we together now out of their hearts not out of their life he did not touch anything external he just came into their hearts removed the seed of the word of god and left every other idea there he didn't tamper with their ideas they didn't tamper with all their plans he just carried the word factor and left every other thing and the bible says lest they should believe and be saved they on the rock are they which when they hear they receive the word so they are an improvement to the first set the set the first set just heard but the second set heard and received the word with joy remember what the bible says about joy it says they fulfill the spiritual law here with joy and then the bible says and these have no root which for a while believe and in time of temptation fall away next verse and that which fell among tongues are they which when they have heard go forth and are choked the first set heard the second set heard received added joy the third set had and took action are you seeing now all an improvement to themselves and were choked with cares and riches and pleasures of this life and bring no fruit to perfection that means they started bearing fruit but the fruit could not mature the last set 15 but that on the good ground are they look look at look at this look at this they are they which in an honest and good heart having heard the word keep it and bring forth more fruit with patience they are not creative people what made them good was honesty that they had an honest and a good heart and by that honesty they were given an ability to keep it and the bible says they produce fruit for soils. jesus is teaching on fruitfulness now let me tell you this kingdom mysteries are very foolish and childish they were designed that way so that you have to be like a child to understand their operations and that is the reason why many people never become fruitful and never get results because of the simplicity and the childlike character of spiritual communication are we together now look at this i am very grateful to god that the sower himself was not mentioned 
The Bible never told us who the sower was. So the sower could be anybody. The Bible tells us what the seed was and the soils, the reaction, how they were planted and the results. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Now watch this very carefully. Do you know that we need to congratulate this sower first for his patience and endurance? Because whoever this sower was, it is true that he had to survive a lot. When you plant a seed and then it dies, then you go to another soil and it improves a little. Then you go to another soil and it improves a little. The Bible is very careful to let us see the transitions of this man and saying that all of it is part of an equation that can be captured in, on your journey to fruitfulness. The same sower continued to do this until he got to a point. What was the difference, my brothers and sisters, between the wayside and a hundredfold returns? The wayside, once upon a time, now a benefactor of a hundredfold returns. Every soil was a description of a level of development and the corresponding challenges that would stop that man. Listen, the first we see in the life of that person, the wayside, according to Jesus' own interpretation, was a revelation of extreme carelessness. You can know that whoever was the possessor of that heart condition was a careless person. Are we together now? There was no discipline at all for the devil to... You only enter a man's house and freely pick something without him unnoticed. If the doors are not closed, there is no system of guidance. He did not place value on the information. And there are people like that all over the world the moment the word of God comes to bless them, they, they, they are sympathetic to what the preacher is saying and they hope they are understanding. But quite honestly, they do not mind. Whether the information is lost or not, it has not become precious and valuable. They have not seen the usability of that information. And so the press to guard and to protect is not there. Are we together? You only protect what you have value for. If you do not have value for it, you may not protect it. When you finish eating your biscuit in a in a, um, the the uh, what they call it now, the the sachet or so, you throw that thing inside a dustbin. Why? Because it doesn't mean anything for you again. Listen, my brothers and my sisters, forget about true success and fruitfulness if. The word of God and the truths delivered do not mean a lot for you. You have to get to a point where you have a desperation, a hunger and a thirst for truth. Remember that we prosper according to the third epistle of John, according to the prosperity of our souls. And the Bible says that the end of your faith is the salvation of your soul, the renewal, the transformation of your mind. Are we together? Let me digress a, 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 a little bit and let's go back to our Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly. So God's ability here is not in doubt. The Bible says he is able to do. To be able means to be capable. To be able means it is within your power and it is within your jurisdiction. The Bible says he is able to do abundantly above all that we ask or think. Let's hold it there. Ask or think. I've explained it here. When you say ask or think, that means your asking and your thinking carries equal value in the spirit. That both your asking and your thinking are both prayer requests that rise to God. Your asking can be saying, God, bless me. And your thinking, say, God, I just changed my mind. Don't waste your time again. And that both of them are prayers that can rise to God. The Bible says God is able to do what we ask or do what we think. The thought realm was where the entire story in the parable of the sower was. It, it was an interaction in the soils of their hearts and their minds. Notice 
that when in the interpretation of those things very little was talked about their hands and any physical energy it was an activity of their minds that determined their failure or their success and even the extent of the success the deliverance that comes through transformation is a much needed deliverance in africa is a much needed deliverance around the middle belt around the north we need a radical shift in our perceptions and in our understanding otherwise we will continue to mock and flatter ourselves and never give room for the fullness of the glory and the power of god to manifest ask someone what do you think is the key to lifting and rising the next thing they begin to tell you all kinds of stories they tell you get a good job they tell you do a good business others will tell you find a good relationship you know somebody who is a destiny helper etc etc those things only matter when these foundational things are in place listen my brothers and my sisters the beginning of your success is when the word of god arrives in your heart and in your mind not when you get a job the starting point of all fruitfulness is the arrival of the word that lives and abides forever your heart and your mind write it down please your heart and your mind a major part of your fruitfulness happens there the manifestation the manifestation is something that can happen suddenly Man of God, listen to me. Businessman, listen to me. Career person, listen to me. The external factor plays a very, very, very small role in your overall success. You are a reflection of the prevailing power of the world within you. You are a reflection of the, the maturity of the word of God in your heart and in your mind your heart and in your mind that means that the word of god alters your perceptions the principles of the word of god have gained entrance into your mind i'm more concerned about the mind part because that is where the stronghold of demons the stronghold of territorial limitations dwell many times when the devil wants to keep people fruitless do you know what he does he makes sure that the word of God cannot get to their mind, but every other thing can get to their hands. Sometimes Satan destroys you by giving to you. He makes sure that your mind never receives anything. Your mind can receive, can be barren while your pocket is full. And you will, anything that your mind has not received is not your own. If they pay you a salary that only got to your hand, you didn't receive a salary. And very soon you will know no matter what it is please hear me my brothers and my sisters if it has not been captured in your spirit and your mind it's not yet your own we possess things in our hearts and our minds first before our hands demonstrate that we have gotten it our generation is obsessed with having physical things because you see when you have physical things it can give a show of results are we together now and and it can suggest some form of progress but real progress is what happens in your spirit and in your mind say my spirit and my mind one more time say my spirit and my mind we're discussing fruitfulness now so that a brother and a sister aspiring to rise to be fruitful according to the word of god that you are not listen carefully that you are not allowed it is not given to you to really experience fruitfulness until that happens in your mind and your life and the bible says the first seed that must enter your life and enter your mind please hear me it is not an investment idea it is not a business idea listen it is not it is not it is not um uh, what do we call it products and services they only will make sense when the word notice that the bible never tells us that the farm did not have other things 
but when satan came he only searched for the word and carried it and left every other thing there the word of god is an incorruptible seed listen please my brothers and my sisters get this the word of god is an incorruptible seed the mindset it says let this mind be in you philippians chapter 2 let this mind be in you and verse 5 let this thinking let this perception be in you which was also in christ jesus philippians chapter 2 and verse 5 let this mind permit this mind permit this mindset to be in you which was also in christ every blessed person every world changer whether in the kingdom and in the secular will tell you that your point of advantage is not what you have in your pocket your point of advantage is not a car your point of advantage is not the house the point of advantage is the quality of the information that your mind like a womb has received and is able to incubate show me a man whose spirit and mind has received from god I show you a man who there is no power in existence that sustains the ability to destroy his fruitfulness. It is first in your spirit and your mind. While that is happening, you're still with your trouser that you use needle and thread to sew. Doesn't matter. While that is happening, you are still in your one room with leakages everywhere stay there while that is happening there are no members coming to the church there are still you your wife and three other members don't worry you don't get the anointing just by hands laying on you the cap hands are only like a tap the hand stops on your head but the real impartation goes into your spirit When you drink water, your mouth allows the water to go in and it stops. But the water does not stop in your mouth. It gets into your system. If you leave water just in your mouth, it will not do much. You need to swallow it. When you swallow it, go to bed. Every other thing starts automatically. The moment it leaves your mouth, leave the rest. A system has already been designed. You don't just say, water now, where are you? Okay, you are here shift left no 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 don't worry when you swallow a drug you don't look at the drug and say drug please make no mistake it's my eye not my back there is a design your job is to get it within you and let it stay sometimes some drugs take longer than others to start working there are some drugs that can even cause you to be drowsy to go to sleep so that it can really work and then it will damage everything that it needs to destroy whilst working my brothers and my sisters listen to me the foundation of true success is not running around with proposals i have a proposal I, I need capital i need this i need that no the major work that anybody will do it's not even carrying certificates all around and say just give me a job yeah and my life will change there's nothing wrong with those things those things are profitless when your mind is barren it will not make any difference it will only convince you sociologically that you are better than someone else but sooner or later you will see that your life does not recognize those activities as progress are we together now there are many pastors who think that ministry rises just because of connections and invitations if i can sing here or preach here or do this no no your real fruitfulness is within the richness of the word of god within you the quality of the wisdom your interaction with the wisdom of god everything that happens is only a revelation of what is going on within the parable of the sower the entire the entire story of that parable is about the hearts of men a sower and seed the word of god the living word joshua chapter one please give it to us and verse eight joshua chapter one moses is let's let's even start from verse five give us verse five we'll read down to verse eight there shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of your life as i was with moses so i will be with you i will not fail thee 
nor forsake you he's doing something to his mind he didn't give him a new knife and say this i sharpened this knife it can cut through trees no he's doing something to his mind that i am empowering your mind that if you can believe this no man will sustain an ability to stand before you all the days of your life and then verse 6 it says be strong and of good courage for unto these people shall thou divide look at god speaking there are giants so and god is telling him how to share the land not how to fight the giants in god's mind victory was settled i've given you victory not by giving you anything physical i did something to your mind that's your victory be strong in the lord and in the power of his might we win not just by physical fights when our spirits and our minds agree let every devil clear the way it's true be strong and of good courage for unto these people thou shalt divide he didn't say you would die during war I thought Joshua would say, come, oh God, assure me, these people have real knife. Will I die or I will leave? Already, if God tells you you are going to share a land, it will be stupid to be asking whether you will die. God is saying, look, I've seen the end of it. Let me teach you how to share the land. Look, look at victors. Look at fruitful people discussing sharing the land, not fighting. We're talking about Jericho and other nations here. You are standing before a fortified city and God is saying, this is the slice. This one will go to this. Are you getting it now? So you see somebody that does not have Gary and is saying, this one will go to charity. This one is going to go to my parents. I have five siblings and I will take care of them. And you enter and say, what is happening? And you say, I'm planning. I'm planning my victory. You say, you are planning your victory. Are you aware that your mother is in the hospital and we need just 20,000 to help her? You say, I'm already planning. I know that I will. Which I swear unto your fathers to give them. Seven. Only be thou strong. What is the requirement? Be strong. Not just be skillful. Don't get me wrong. These are factors, but I'm arranging them according to order of priority. Be strong and very courageous that thou mightest observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left that thou mayest prosper. This is God giving a man a recipe for success. And he's not saying anything about the war he's about to fight. He's not saying follow through the back door. And not, the instruction for victory would come later. He's giving him a winning formula. Verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart from out of your mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous who will make your way it's not only god that makes a way he can empower you to make your way and if you are not ready to make your way prosperous it's a commitment it's a call to responsibility and thou shall have good success brothers and sisters life is systemic we are not the first to enter any realm we desire not at this level god has empowered people listen god has empowered people in business in ministry spiritual life whatever area god has listen god has allowed us to see the scars of people his his the bible is not just full of triumphs it's also full of failure and scars the bible says that all scripture were written for our learning that we through the comfort of scripture might find hope so god allows the 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 the, the, the record of many people's limitations so that you will learn be fruitful is a command be fruitful oh thou sower be fruitful and you're saying god change my life 
change my life and you're thinking in your mind capital oh god capital just give me five hundred thousand and god you can't even go out of my life and the devil is saying i like this kind of prayer i like anything that takes the word of god out of a man's life he will leave the capital with you and take the word away and you will watch with wonder how you will mess up your own life if i talk to many of us now i say what are you trusting god for in what area are you trusting God for results? I will be surprised how many of us are expecting external things to happen so that it can be proof that the word of God is working. No. When it has to do with fruitfulness, the major work is within. How many ministers will stay and build capacity with the word? There are ministers who do not have a Bible, but they already have suits in advance. And... I believe in success we teach you all the dimensions of success but let me tell you just putting pictures and photos of nice things on your wall and mesmerizing without the word of god is scientology you are just joking and nothing will happen it is the word of god that empowers as many as believe him he gave them power to become jesus said follow me follow the word and i will make you make you the maker is the word because it is vain to wake up early in the morning and to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow that's why business people who reject god are in trouble ministry people who reject god are in trouble career people who reject god are in trouble it's amazing how many people leave church to go and honor an appointment because they've indoctrinated themselves to believe that god is a luggage vain is the strength of a man in this world that we live in it is the richness of the word of god the richness of your spiritual understanding that translates into your fruitfulness listen invest in understanding invest in understanding before you invest in clothes invest in understanding before you invest in hair invest in understanding before you invest in cars and houses and all of this to invest in understanding is not to buy books to invest in understanding is not to watch sermons to invest in understanding is to have the preparedness to pursue exact knowledge to buy a book is one thing to read it is another thing to understand it is another thing to apply it is another thing the labor dimension of fruitfulness is done internally please listen to me the dynamics of redemption happen in the grave after the third day when everything had finished the grave hades the place of the dead Jesus is done and he's ready to resurrect. Now he comes out in glory and we see the effulgence of his glory and he calls many sons into glory. Listen, if a major part of your life is visible for all to see, you are not successful. If a major part of your life is visible for all to see, in this kingdom, people are only allowed to see a minute part in fact it's even the manifestation most of the work is done within notice that your nourishment physically only a little part of it is seen they see the food and they see it entering your mouth every other thing the digestion etc etc be fruitful as as god has helped me to rise and grow i found myself I'm, I'm becoming more and more emotional to my own surprise because i look at people and i can understand the heart and the burden of jesus that he says he looks at people as though a sheep without a shepherd and i look i say oh i now see why africa is this way i now see why our lives are this way and do you know many of us believe that because we have sincerity life must answer to us sincerity is very important like we learned but it is not enough something about your understanding has empowered satan to destroy fruitfulness in your life something about your understanding please listen understanding is important when they employ you sam come it's looking sharp and smart Look at this. 
when when you employ some you are not employing your body there are few employments where they border on size are we together now any size in many jobs can do what they are employing they are employing your understanding and the time with that understanding a job is time plus understanding in someone's assignment are you seeing that now yes so the factor is your understanding i've given this analogy come come stand here for me please look at this reason with me for one moment let's assume that this brother god forbid eh? i always give this example let's call this guy an arm robber that is a thief are we together and let's call this one a pastor a man of god looking sharp and then you are angry at this guy and you are praying that police will apprehend him because he's a nuisance to society and you are praying that god will open doors for this man to go to the nations because you consider him to be a blessing now shoot both of them now it's, it's not good to talk about shooting and a pastor but just in my example shoot both of them and let them fall to the ground dead who really died the dead body is on the ground now are you going to call the dead body a pastor is the dead body a pastor no is the arm robber is the dead body an arm robber neither the dead body nor the past the pastor's body nor the arm robber's body are the arm robbers or the pastor the pastor has gone the arm robber too has gone their bodies are there so who is really the pastor talk to me who is really the pastor this body if Sam adds weight will it scatter the anointing on his head will it make him to suddenly become mad because he's not reasoning well not necessary in fact not at all are we together now if this arm robber suddenly adds weight does it necessarily stop him from having the appetite to steal this is the arm robber and this is the pastor when satan comes he doesn't need the body he goes to the mind when the mind sits on the throne then the body becomes a slave to the mind the body becomes a helpless executor of the conclusions that have happened the board meeting happens between the mind and the spirit the body is not invited the body only executes the decisions that have been agreed upon same thing with the pastor when the holy ghost comes to you like he's coming to some of you now he's not concerned about the body he's concerned about your spirit then he's concerned about your mindset hand over to him your spirit and your mind so that he will plant in you the seed of understanding and watch how your body begins to reflect what has happened within you this my brothers and my sisters is how we are fruitful in this kingdom every other thing like creativity and all of these things only answer to this foundation say be fruitful be fruitful does not mean go and do business that comes later be fruitful does not mean go and look for capital be fruitful does not mean go and do all no no the heart preparation and your mind most believers have done well in the area of the heart the spirit but our minds are terribly unfruitful our minds continue to reject the spoken word of god concerning our lives and this is my assignment that if this year if we are to experience extraordinary fruitfulness then we have to trust god to begin to transit us listen carefully to transit us from different levels of understanding there is a requisite level of understanding that can receive what god wants to give you a man who is pastoring 5,000 members and a man who is pastoring 1,000 and a man who is pastoring 100 and a man who is pastoring 10. The difference is not their size. The difference is not their tribe. The difference is not even the God they gave their lives to. The difference can, may not even be the spiritual authorities they submit to. The difference is the construction of their understanding that someone has allowed the holy spirit to construct his value system to be so flawless that he knows how to engage the principles of the kingdom and the physical results show while he's activating these things every member that comes to him is in his house but something from within you calls them 
and it's not just anointing the health of your mind is a force too it can call the same way it can drive please listen to me my brothers and my sisters if you intend to be fruitful except it's just a cliche you know and, and and many times in africa i think this is the reason why we like signs and wonders not because they are such a big deal alone we like it because we believe it is a cheaper route to results just prophesy apostle why waste your time to teach this didn't god anoint you for me I mean, just get bottles of oil here, touch my head, and just like that other person testified, that you bear fruits that abide. While, while I was sitting down here, we just had a brief, maybe 10 seconds discussion with Ejimi, and he said, he shared a scripture that just blessed me. And he said, the Bible says, strong men retain wealth. Powerful. You are not strong just because you have it. The ability to retain it means you have conquered the forces that try to take it from you are we together when you lift um, this weight you don't just pick it up and drop it down and win you must hold it for some time it's proof that it's, it did just happen you hold it there while you are shaking and then at a point they say you have the point has been proven that this one you qualify to lift that weight so there are things that when you hold, if you are not spiritual and you did not hold it indeed, it will slip away. But holding it for a while qualifies that you held it through knowledge. We don't hold things with our hands. Our hands only support what our mind has held. The real instrument for holding things is your mind. When it's too heavy for your mind, your hand can support. But you don't hold things with your hand. Is God speaking to us? You are seated here right now looking at me, swimming through a maze of challenges maybe, and believing that you came for koinonia so that you will experience transformation. Could be in ministry, could be in business, could be in whatever it is. But then the Lord is saying, I am limited by your understanding. There is something about your understanding that is not allowing me bless you. And let me tell you this. You see why Jesus wept. Any man of God who is committed to transformation knows how frustrating it is. It is difficult to get members to receive. That's why we take out time and pray. Not necessarily because what we are saying Saying it's not necessarily the prayer that brings it. Are we together? When revelation comes, the truth is there. But praying that when the seed is planted, that the minds of the people can receive. Let me tell you, less than 10% of members really follow and grow on the information they are given. That's why testimonies are scarce. That's why there are supernatural instant testimonies, but not sustainable ones. You will hardly see a member testify back to back for two months. He usually will come once and you don't expect to find him again. Because most of the testimony was not gotten through knowledge. Prophetic intervention. One miracle here. I fell under the anointing and the next day this happened. So I get a job by a prophetic word, but I never get promoted. You see that? Because the understanding that will make me that, that, that trustable is not there. I had the privilege to have a conversation with a very, very notable uh, man, you know, one of the, you know, the second in command in one of the great institutions in this nation. And then while he was talking to me and we were discussing, he told me, he said, my apostle, let me tell you, it is not true that there are no jobs. It's just that the level of mental depravity of the average young man with risk and this is a born again believer he said we are frustrated every time we take people to come for interviews as they talk we just continue to look at them and the privilege of marking school of ministry scripts has taught me that it is true you know we insult lecturers we insult everybody they gave me they gave me i have done at least you know i love god and i love you i have marked things that i've said my god how in the world does this person plan to that's why teachings like it doesn't matter what happens in your mind just receive the anointing and rise we like it because we know that what is in there if god is going to remove it it will take time but i tell you don't fight with the spirit sit down and let him take that thing 
let him edit your understanding and plant the word of God and my brother and my sister you will watch your life rise to reflect what God is putting within you this is another place where the error of speaking without transformation comes just to call it no sir to where it's like opening a tap and there is no container to receive it the prophet was only comfortable to prophesy when there were vessels because the oil would be wasted without vessel to just believe that you just keep calling things at random to your life with an empty mind is a joke this is Scientology and you have to be careful with all these materials we read around about the universe and all of this let me tell you by the grace of God God has granted us the privilege of light in this ministry from any dimension you look at it where vast people who are keen on knowledge so we don't speak from a standpoint of ignorance whether from business from ministry from whatever we are we are by the grace of god enlightened enough to provide the guidance that gives you balance i can tell you many people will continue to be frustrated because they lack the understanding on how the kingdom of god and his systems accurately work are we together be fruitful is not just a prophetic declaration alone that happens automatically be fruitful leads you through a process and the first of the processes is to allow the word of god to find expression in your spirit then to find expression in your mind the moment your mind begins to transit start rejoicing with no idea yes sir start rejoicing because inevitably the physical equivalent of everything that is already happening will begin to come to you in 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 circles of what you will think are coincidences but they are orchestrations based on a spiritual law i was sharing with the leaders and i said every time the student is ready the lecturer always shows up every time the student is ready the lecturer always shows up Be fruitful. He's not just speaking to your body. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. This is what will put money in your pocket. Be fruitful. It is not the capital that is given to your hands that makes you fruitful. It is not the business, the investment, or the job. The job is only a physical platform to give your understanding expression to reward you. Nobody prospers from business nobody prospers from investment nobody prospers from jobs you prosper off your understanding all of these things are simply platforms that give your understanding room that's why two people can have the same platforms but different understandings and all those vehicles will produce at different rates even in the good soil it produced 30 fold 60 fold hundredfold the same way we have several people here in koinonia many of you are members workers and leaders but your results are produced at different rates same anointing same mentorship same programs same teaching different results all producing are we together if you want to be fruitful your assignment is not to just start buying good clothes thank god for that i say this because you see young people have a pressure that society is pushing on people now they look at you and say since when did you graduate you say five years say, you are still dressing like this and the next thing god blesses you with thirty thousand. off you go to somewhere in anger i must buy stretch jeans thirty thousand. i must buy this and that and you shop it you 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 shop physical things and then you put yourself under pressure and then you come back and say look this is to announce to you i have now improved we say why you say because i have a bigger house because i have a bigger car because i have a bigger this i have that to me that that is increased no sir and your mind keeps saying you are wasting your time you only bought something for someone else i look at your mind and the only thing you have bought is a book because that's the only thing that has stayed in your mind that's why nobody can steal the book because your mind caught it every other thing can carry the way because it only came around your life but not in your mind the wealth 
must be gotten here before it comes here. Are we together? Yes. Apostle, now if somebody gives me money to start a business, can't I just start and prosper? You will fail. It's not an insult. You will fail. 99% of the people who want to start business will fail. Not because there are statistics of failure. Your mind, you do not have the understanding of the system to prosper. Anybody who wants to prosper, your first assignment is to look for references and models. Transformation is easy when there are references. Not activity, not action. No. Listen, when there is no reference, your, your mind operates with imagery. And the moment there is no reference for the possibility that you want to step into, you are not going there. who is God speaking to me that this thing you are doing you are just dreaming until there is a reference that's why by the grace of God we continue to walk with the Holy Spirit that he continues to lift us to make us better references listen let me tell you this if you sit under an apostolic ministry walking in signs and wonders you will enter into that grace fast because there is a reference. Your spirit can easily pick. Are we together? If your pastor is a poor man, by the grace of God, you will grow in the word. But it's going to be difficult because there is no reference. There is an impartation that results on themselves bring to you. Are you getting what I'm saying now? It's very important. That's why it's important. Every ministry and every organization rises to reflect the mindset of the leaders. It is true. Koinonia is a reflection of our mindset and also a reflection of our limitation. If you look at Koinonia and you see anything wrong, it is a reflection of the areas where personally my understanding and our understanding has not been well constructed our assignment is to bridge that gap as fast as possible through knowledge so that you will build what is akin to an edifice a proof of mastery as you grow notice you grow in the secret but you see your result on the members you stay in the secret and God brings a new level of the anointing and you start watching in the physical to see they were not there when God was giving you those new dimensions but then you begin to get it a time will come in this ministry you will start seeing people have cars in strange ways a time will come you will see people start having certain results will rise it is not just their personal faith is that there has been an upgrade in the secret place that can now receive that level of reality a time is going to come when we will get our own property and sometimes it can be within two three months and everything is put in place you would think it just came no the lifting in the spirit god now says now you have the capacity there are things if God gave me today, I prayed for it for years. But I look at it today and I thank God for not answering those prayers. Because had he given me, it is true that you would have been a waste. The same way you have been praying. Notice that certain things seem to never get answered in your miracle service request. And it is not always that demons are stopping it. It is God's mercy that is keeping it from you. Because it will be a waste. And if you lose it, it will take a long time before it comes. So God will keep it for you. And let you just wallow in your interpretation, calling it delay. Whereas God is keeping it like a faithful caretaker until your understanding is able to sustain it. Are we together? Yes. This book of the law shall not depart from out of your mouth, but thou shalt meditate, 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 meditate. Value for the word of God. Listen, let me tell you, I, I look at people in this ministry and I am blessed the way God is lifting people in this ministry. Sometimes I, I, I know how I met them and I know how they came and see the power of the word of God transiting people the word of god is not a charm the word of god is a compendium of the principles of god the understanding of the systems of god and obtaining grace to engage them is what changes your life listen a day will come you will sit down and say god stop giving me money as far as my personal needs are concerned i don't know what to do and god says it's an irreversible process it will keep coming so god will say divert anyone to the kingdom but to stop it it can't happen again 
wait till I teach you on wealth this year. God taught me something new. Ah. You see how you clapped? It's a reflection of the passion and the prayer. Oh God. Well, and it's not an insult. It's a wonderful thing. But let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, if this mind does not change, your life will not change. A man is in bondage when his mind is in bondage. No matter how free he is, he's bound. Watchman Nee was bound and kept in prison. Many things happened to him, but when they bound him, he spoke loudest because his mind was still alive. Hallelujah! Glory to the Lamb! Glory to the Father! You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah! you sit down sit down we're going to pray we spend time worrying about people who don't like us do you know if they are not in your mind they can't do you anything wickedness only hurts you to the degree to which you allow it to step in it's true that you immune your mind that you come from a family where people say you too you want to rise you are also joining them you are coming to that that stupid place where there are you people are just jumping for nothing and you feel stupid and sometimes in that stupidity you open the gate of your mind and allow them to enter when they enter your mind you are gone set a guard over my mind it was a prayer set a guard Lord, that no matter what happens around my life, shield my mind and my life is safe. If you injure yourself, it can heal. Are we together? But the Bible says a broken spirit dried the bones. The bones can be healthy and the spirit broken and the bones begin to reflect what is happening. You don't off this light by breaking every bulb one by one. The light is reflecting the health of a generator and the health of a switch. Just because one switch is faulty, every healthy bulb will remain off at the mercy of one switch. The focus, my brother and my sister, is not in doing physical things. This anointing and this lifting you see, is not by physical connection. I'm a good musician. Invite me. I promise you that in the name of Jesus, I will rise. No. Let me tell you how to be invited. Stay in the secret place. Allow the spirit of God to brood. He will give you one song. He knows what men cannot resist. He will coordinate by all grace and anoint you one song that you will raise. People, and he will make sure the ear of the person who can help you hears that song. And he says, who sang this song? Come to my church. He will array every other helper and he will anoint you so lavishly that day. You, you rise like a spring up and never go down again. The systems of lifting are very easy when your understanding is in place. It is difficult for God to lift a man whose understanding is unfruitful. You will frustrate the potentials of the spirit. Listen, brothers and sisters, this is a call to sit down. This running around and premature manifestation, comparing yourself with yourselves, the Bible says they are not wise. The key is to sit down. Someone will come dressing sharp like Sam is looking and try to intimidate you and say you have been in this Zaria for years. The only thing I hear is ba 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 and your empty head, empty pocket, oh yeah, take and go and buy Indomie and you feel stupid as you go to the shop with 1,000 naira and say, God, is this how you plan to disgrace me? And God will say, if I give you money, have I not insulted you? Listen, brothers and sisters, don't be so poor that all you have is money. If all you have is an object you remove from your pocket or an object that is stored in a bank out of fear, you are truly poor. Follow me when I finish those words. I told you be fruitful. We are just starting. Then there is multiply. Then there is replenish. Then there is subdue. They are not the same. 
never be poor such that all you have is just money if all you have is money you are extremely poor because there are many things money cannot do most poor people agree with what I'm saying because they have been angry about money since not because they understand it you say this in an average church and people say yes it's true it's just an opportunity to be angry at something they've tried to get but it is true God is giving you what is better than money you know this issue of saying this person is worth this worth that oh pastor Alpha, you are worth 10 million what, what nonsense what do you mean I'm worth 10 million no what do you mean you are worth 100 million 1 billion those are just carnal expressions sensual manifestations and it's not just say, oh I'm worth the blood of Jesus is true too but you can be worth something solid that is greater than money Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on. Listen, I have taught you that there are things when you have in life, only the poor need you. There are things when you have in life, only the rich need you. There are things when you have in life, only the educated need you. There are things when you have in life, only the uneducated need you. There are things when you have in life, only children need you. There are things when you have in life, only young people need you. There are things in life when you have, only old people need you. But my brothers, there are things when you possess in this life. When you possess it. The, listen, listen, listen. You walk life at your terms. The great see you and call you great. This is what God is giving you. Please sit down. We are going to pray. Listen, look at me. Make no mistakes to think all this labor is simply to get money to your pocket. If that's all I'm doing with this teaching, I've insulted you, I deserve to be arrested for insulting you that bad. If all that we are doing in Koinonia is just to get you to a point where you can have a car or a house, it's an insult. You don't need to hear what I'm saying to buy a car or a house. What I'm giving you will make kings stand before you and look at you. Listen, they will come with their pride and hang it like Sheba in front of your door and stand and say, teach us wisdom. Are you getting me? I pray in the name of Jesus that you understand that there is a more superior way of living. I can meet Sam and Sam can bring out some money to sow into my life as a man of God and I collect what Sam has brought and I believe I'm valuable because he gave me some money I look at the money and smile and then I run away no listen when you get what I am teaching you and putting in your mind you will find out that the equation that the world uses a young man you save for 10 years and get a house. That equation is for some people. I'm exempting you from that list. Are you getting what I'm saying? Listen to me. Oh, borrow money from the bank and build a house, then repay over 30 years. No. There is a dimension that when you have, my brothers and my sisters, an estate developer will come to you and look at you and say, can I give you the privilege? I've taught you something. Look at this. Isn't it amazing that the greediest people in the world are still givers? It's just that you are not the one they give to. Let me tell you this. There is nobody that is really greedy. They just believe you are not deserving of that level of communication. Some of our parents, we will call them and say, Daddy, support me, and they will refuse. Yet a man of God will come to the city and they will carry 10 times the amount you have been begging and kneel down and say, Sir, can you give us the privilege to sow? They are not greedy. They just believe it's unfair to give you that much. Listen, your pride should not be a car. Your pride should not be good clothes. What you are receiving, you have left the level of car and clothes since. What you are waiting for now is the systems that bring them. I want you to believe in what I'm telling you. 
if you think right now what you are getting is what will give you a car what will give you a car finished since 2013 14 you are receiving what will subdue nations not a car what is a car what is a bank account how many what is a visa to go to abroad london is it jupiter listen be careful the things that represent your expectations don't shortchange yourself god is giving you the keys of the hearts of kings of nations not not some little one one jeep here one this and you say now i have a jeep my mind ah oh, no please a time will come we'll just sit down and testify and we'll be grateful god just did this and that and that to be an insult that what you are learning now is just for an estate now an estate a car my brothers and my sisters be patient with god and be patient with me and watch what your life becomes it's a guarantee that i give you by god we're not talking of buying a car we're not talking of buying clothes we're talking of shutting the gates of nations i had the privilege to meet with a very great woman of god who is also a business person and while we were talking she was telling me her itinerary and she said she's on her way to france right now that the president of france they need to have meetings i said this is it whereas some mediocre somewhere is there harassing people just because he bought an expensive shoe there are people deciding the destinies of nations a president of a nation like france calling for you to sit down this is what God is training you to become. The level of anointing you are receiving is not to compare yourself with somebody in your family to say, I am first. That's mediocrity. That is for somebody who is just passing koinonia to go to his house. That's what that person receives as the gift for just passing to go. I testify, testify that your goodness is real. I testify that your goodness is real. Your goodness is real. I testify. Your goodness is real. I testify. Listen. The work you are doing in your destiny is what you are doing now. A time will come when from morning till night, all that you will see is testimonies of men coming to serve your needs. It will surprise you and because you will not be a man of God as it were. You know, most times we've thought that these things only happen to men of God. It's not true. These are the systems of the kingdom. You've heard me say that we will all be great and that we will all know ourselves. Keep watching keep watching what our children will be keep watching most times people don't believe truth until it's too late there are people today who look and say i used to know this man it's not used to know god is giving you an opportunity to catch a flight that only the hand of god can limit where it is going it is by the spirit listen this tonight is a message of hope so that this pressure to prove a point throw it out of the window you have left that realm since hear what i'm telling you you have left that realm since pressure to prove a point oh apostle I'm, my desire now is to trust god let me just get a four bedroom flat and god says but you got a four bedroom flat right when koinonia started it is just coming through the loins of time to manifest who through faith subdued kingdoms there are some of you let me tell you when you're you see this is why when you see the physical manifestation of certain people's results the level of their transformation does not allow them to start physically at certain levels you see god jump to a height is because of the vastness of their level of understanding there are some of you here you will be surprised that your first car will be a jeep and people will be angry not because a jeep is anything god says if if i will have to be this is the fairest i can be to you based on how you have transited 
and then you will be surprised to find out that while you were thinking God would just give you a two bedroom flat and this and that God will bring you to a five bedroom flat and God will say this is just to give you the convenience to start out in life and people will be surprised because it's not in your heart it's amazing how believers mark time under certain achievements it tells you that they didn't plan to go far One man of God sent me a text sometime and he said somebody sent him $5,000. He said, Apostle, I can't believe I'm holding dollars, $5,000. And he was shouting, he was saying, ah, God, thank you. And I sent him a text after a long time. I said, Mister, be careful. That can be the very reason why you go down. If your whole life is worth $5,000, you are very small. you get what I'm saying that one person here one person will be able to have the resources that can completely clear an IDP camp one person without making noise this is what God is raising you to become and you will not even consider yourself to be a kingdom financier doing that you are just somebody who loves God Hi. be patient be patient I cause the spirit of hurry. Be patient. Be patient. Watch what our children in Koinonia become. When they are five, ten, you will look at their lives and you will see how wealthy they will become independent of your contribution by engaging the world themselves. There are some of you seated here right now and all you are dreaming of is starting your church and the anointing on you with all humility even many overseers do not have it and God says sit down there just sit down because I'm not giving you a church I'm giving you territories territories not just a small church to flatter yourself and compare yourself between a group of pastors and say I am better no sir no sir I testify testify that your goodness is real I testify testify that your goodness is real hey, your goodness is real I testify going to pray let me speak to someone here the prayer request that you think God did not answer he's answered it since it's just that you didn't know how the answer comes he answered it since some of you God looked at your prayer request and all he saw was a blank sheet because everything you wrote you are bigger than it already and God did not see a need God is saying you've not given me a prayer request you wrote nonsense there lord if i can just have thirty thousand every month and lord if i can and god just looks at it and says the level of the word that is in you can only allow for minimum a hundredfold return i say god but i'm a village boy i'm a village girl and god says leave all of that one and stay with me listen beware of the pride of unbelievers respect unbelievers who have gotten knowledge but there are many unbelievers who are ignorant and you see them doing making all kinds of noise they will rubbish you and make you look small i sense that there is a spirit that is just going around great believers to make them feel small to make them look like we have waited so long is it that god cannot give you a shoe what is in a shoe that god cannot give you what is in a cloth you mean you are still using a, a second hand with one ah, but you should have left this level and you go back feeling stupid and god says my daughter forget about this are you ready to pray be fruitful he's giving you the keys of nations the keys the keys the keys not the key of a territory the keys of nations listen today by the grace of God koinonia has become like a place of pilgrimage you cannot believe the number of people who want to come here for visit I've had to restrain many of them 
pleading with them because I think that we may not have the facilities to truly honor them as we should. It is not location. It is not where you go. When you stay with God and the light shines from you, my brothers and my sisters, you will become a praise of nations that people will look at you and our family will say, we've been praying for rising. We didn't know God answered it in a person. We thought God would shift us to another territory. Lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit and say, Lord, thank you. Though my beginning may be small, though my beginning may be small, but my latter end, though my beginning may be small, if someone pray, I am fruitful. I may not yet manifest fruitfulness in my pocket. I may not yet manifest fruitfulness in a job. I may not yet manifest fruitfulness in my business. But in the name of Jesus, I declare that I am fruitful. Gentiles to my light. Gentiles to my light. Are you praying, Koinonia? Be fruitful. Be productive. God is altering your thoughts. Altering your understanding. We win by the health of our spirit man. And the health of our understanding. God is showing you the laws of the spirit. Showing you success systems. Take your eyes away from the physical results. I assure you nothing will stop them from coming. Men may mock you. They may laugh at you. Where is the increase in ministry if you are really anointed? Where are the invitations to travel around? If you are really anointed, who is placing a demand on your grace, they will say. But forget about them and stay with the God of all flesh. Let him walk upon your spirit. Let him walk upon your mind. Allow that pregnancy that is in your mind. Allow it to reach maturation and watch the wonder that you will produce. Your goodness is real. Testify. Your goodness is real. Your goodness is real. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to challenge the spirit of impatience. Listen. God is a God of speed. But God only gives you your inheritance when you are built up. Everybody say built up. Be careful with unhealthy comparison. Business people listen. Career people listen. We were all classmates. Now this one is like this. This one has two houses. And I am here. Nothing is moving. Be careful. If you see that in your life, know it's an attack. Listen, listen. Especially for our dear sisters. Listen to me, my adorable ladies. Let me tell you this. You listen to what this arrogant world without Christ is telling you. You will not amount to anything. They will make you feel stupid for loving God. They will make you feel stupid for staying and growing. You will look so cheap and weak, but you stay. And let God adorn you like Hadassah and lift you like a trophy. In one day, one day, what is a prayer point of nations come to you? Because you are prepared. Don't be ashamed of where you are. You are still fruitful. Don't be under pressure. Listen, listen, let me tell you this. If you can conquer the pressure of proving a point, you have conquered life. The pressure of proving a point. I need to prove to the people in my family. I need to prove to the people in my village. They've been saying, what are you doing in Zaria for five years? Eh? Are you cursed that your life is not rising? Hold on. When God is done with you, my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by my deliverer is coming my deliverer is standing by listen let me tell you
tell you a humorous story and then we'll pray. Some time back I was to inv be invited somewhere, one of the places that I went to minister. And a man of God was called and asked and said, do you know Apostle Joshua Selman? And he said, well, I've heard about him, but I don't know him. And the man at the other side of the phone advised the, the people to invite me and said, Can't, we don't know this man. Don't invite him. Rather invite A, B, C, D. And the person at the phone said, you don't know the encounters I've had with this man. It's impossible for us, no matter what you say, we must invite him. That's what happens when you wait for God. There are men that continue to pray secretly. Why don't you fall so that it will justify their prophecy? But my brothers and my sisters, when God puts something in your spirit and puts something in your mind, you have watched people waste their time forever. They will waste their time forever. It is the finger of God that lifts you and keeps you. They will finish a meeting and say, don't promote Pastor Alpha. Sit down here. He will never rise. Just when they finish, the man goes back and by the next day, the promotion letter is out. Listen, there are not too many people like us on earth. It's important for you to understand this. It's not pride. It's a breed that is plucked out of fire. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. and admire today will be the things that will follow you tomorrow you would drive them and they say we can't go you called us you called us but he seek ye first the kingdom of God and his methodology his systems and all other things is a guarantee except this word your certificate can only take you so far your intellect can only take you so far but my brothers and sisters i commend you to god he says i commend you not just to your certificate not just to the advantage of your tribe not just to your family connection i commend you first to god and then to the word of his grace and he leaves you with an assurance that it is capable of building you up and giving you an inheritance a time will come those who mock you will give up they will see that you have risen to a height and a level where it will be stupid to talk about you the lifter of men lifting you I like you to decree and declare no power is stopping me from being fruitful fruitful in my spirit fruitful in my mind koinonia you pray shamakato shatia embrekato sakatora skima hashalakatos entalika proha sekete balakata the anointing is growing in my spirit i'm full of the power of god full of the holy ghost some may trust in shadows and others horses but i trust in the name of the lord i may not have relatives to back me i may not have a wealthy family to support me but i have received god and the word of his grace that is able 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 to lift me outside i will pray why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen are temporal 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 hallelujah be fruitful carry that mentality every time the word of God says be fruitful the devil takes you to your ATM and says how much is there every time the word says be fruitful he says so why are you thinking of paying rent you are even trusting God to raise the money for the rent does that look like fruitfulness let me tell you the devil is a liar he's a master of the sense realm and if you dwell there you will say where are the members you have 10 members and you have the effrontery to say you are fruitful 
Are you ready to prophesy to yourself? Spirit, soul, and body, I am fruitful. Decree and declare. I will make you exceeding fruitful. Nations will come out of you and kings out of your loins. Businessman prophesy. Yes, sir, with no evidence, I am fruitful. I am fruitful. Blessed is the man that feared the Lord, that delighted greatly in his commands. His seed shall be mighty upon earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endures forever. Man of God, I do pray. I'm fruitful. The anointing is at work in my life. Nobody can reject the investment of the Holy Ghost upon my life. It may take time, but I'm rising in the name of Jesus Christ. My family members may not yet see the hand of God upon my life. Everybody around me may doubt the finger of God. I may even doubt it myself, but I heed to the command. I am fruitful. I am fruitful. In spite of your failures, I am fruitful. Declare fruitful. Hallelujah. That's my mindset. Fruitful. 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 Take your eyes away. I am fruitful. The landlord harasses you. It's true. I'm fruitful. Still fruitful. You may not have money to prepare a meal. But in the name of Jesus, God is doing something. The wealth is not transferred to your account. The wealth is transferred to the soil of your mind. Our God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above with wisdom power. chapter 2 and verse 5 don't forget philippians let this mind let this mindset let this body of understanding be in you listen hold on every great man you know is who he is not because of the wealth and the affluence the wealth and the influence is a receipt for something you have paid for when you see money in your pocket that money is a receipt you get receipts only when you have bought things the good shoe is a receipt. The good cloth is a receipt. The first class flight is a receipt. It is not the reason why you are blessed. It is the proof that you are already blessed. Are you getting me now? How many of you know that sometimes when you go to a mall after you shop, you have to patiently wait on the queue for the next cashier to attend to you? That's what is happening to many of us. You have already bought the things. You are at the point of completing that transaction and then life will hand you the receipt. It will come as a car. It will come as open doors. It will come as you never having to follow the bus for anything again. It will come as you having the convenience to do certain things for the kingdom. But until then, be patient. For some of you, you are, you, have, you are standing on that queue, just waiting for your turn to come. And my brothers and my sisters, you will come up with a level of results that will surprise you. Can I tell you this? Don't be afraid of results that came through understanding. Don't be afraid of results that came through understanding. Most times you see, because of the multiple failures, like the man who planted, when you plant by the wayside, when you plant by the rock, when you plant upon thorns, that experience alone may make you think even the good soil will fail. But you see, when that seed begins to grow, and becomes a great tree it will not only bless you it will bless the birds it will bless everybody who is passing around that's what God is doing with us are you getting what I'm saying very very important you are receiving something you are receiving the anointing but you are receiving an understanding 
so don't let the devil come and begin to talk jargons you will fail in your life you will fail in your business you will fail in marriage you will fail in um, um financially you will fail spiritually that organization you cannot be able to run an organization you, you cannot be able to run a ministry who told you that do you not know that it is wisdom and knowledge that creates stability they are the stabilizers of destiny and that's what god is doing so we are going to pray lord reconstruct my understanding to be able to receive the things that will make me fruitful lift your mind your, your voice and pray reconstruct my understanding reconstruct my understanding lord there are things in my mind that may not allow me to be fruitful i acknowledge them are you praying i acknowledge that there are limitations territorial limitations tribal limitations sociological limitations i've interacted with a kind of people who have kept me bankrupt mentally they may be my family members they may be my relatives they may be my classmates they may be well-meaning people if someone pray lord i give you the allowance to alter my understanding there is something i know or do not know about ministry that is allowing me to be unfruitful there is something i know or i do not know about finances that makes me to keep going up and down there is something i know or do not know about the anointing that doesn't allow me to host very superior levels of grace quicken my understanding quicken my understanding quicken my understanding hallelujah I apologize for taking time the holy spirit is giving me a scripture isaiah 11 and verse 2 we're still praying. isaiah 11 and verse 2 can you still have it projected isaiah 11 and verse 2 let's see if we can find it let me turn it here to save time isaiah chapter 11 and verse 2 hmm. i'm handing over to you a secret is a secret that make men really great and the spirit of the lord shall rest upon him the sevenfold manifestation of the spirit of god and the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and might the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the lord verse 3 it says and shall make him of quick understanding quick all of these spirits synergize themselves to make sure your understanding is quick this is what you have to pray a quickened understanding is a real miracle you can have as a student a five point c gpa yet your understanding is unfruitful the fortitude to understand life to know wisdom is understanding you become a priority personality by default your understanding upgrades you like you are upgraded from economy to a business class to first class your understanding upgrades you to a level in life where you never have to come down again you are not trying to stay it has stabilized you at a realm this is the second reason why many people remain perpetually in failure and defeat let me give us something isaiah 31 it's a scripture that blessed me so much and I think it will bless you. Verse 1 to 3. Those who depend on the strength of men, the strategies of men. Listen to what the Bible says. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many. It says, and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not to the Holy One of Israel, neither seek their God. Let's go to verse 3. Verse 3, please. It says, Now these Egyptians that you claim are so formidable, they are men. No? Are we together now? It says, And not God. And their horses are flesh. There is a limit to which they can defend you. It says, And not spirit when the lord shall stretch out his hands listen both he that helpeth shall fall and he that is helped now this is an ancient language shall also fall down two of them shall do what if god does not help you and your destiny helper together 
so it is never from men i've taught you this all every good and perfect gift comes from above through men to you from god through men to you so your prayer is not to men the god of all flesh that can manipulate things according to his will from god through men to you when it becomes from men that begins the circle of tragedy from your life anything god cannot give me let no man claim he can give me i know we say yes sir but we don't believe it it shows on our our desperation calling the attention of men you are my last hope sam if you don't pick my call i'm dead that's a man who does not know god because he said if you will not praise me it is still within my power to raise up things that should not do that god is only limited by how much we trust him his wisdom is multifaceted has the capacity to invent new formulas of communicating your breakthrough to you your assignment is to trust him enough who is like him lion and the lamb seated on the throne mountains bow down every ocean rolls to the lord of lords never never allow your appetite or your perception of the ability of men and human strategies to help you to outrun and push away the fact that you know God is faithful I know you are a businessman and I've read every business book but by and large is only a channel every good and perfect gift comes from above I know you went to school but let me tell you something if God does not speak a word on your behalf your certificate can be a piece of paper on this earth as sad as the recession is it has brought so many arrogant people to their knees men who think God is limited by their perceptions and whatever it is no God is mighty he's not scratching his head in heaven wondering what to do with believers his wisdom is so infinite it reinvents itself to manipulate answers to men regardless of the circumstances you are God alone from before time began you are on your throne you are God alone and right now time's The next time a man tells you I will not help you you are in trouble thank him don't cry go back to God and say Lord how many men did you say are on earth six billion let your wisdom your infinite wisdom that can raise up stones stones that can raise up stones to praise and glorify him I will never trust the strategy of men above God I love and know and fear him too much to be that foolish that a man comes and says look hey, Jimmy, tomorrow I'm going to change your life just because you have five billion in your account that's a joke is it not until that man wakes up from the bed in the morning listen I'm, I'm not I'm not teaching you dishonor. Remember, I've taught you the gift of men. I'm showing you the depravity, the falsehood, the waste of time that is committed in making men God. This God is a mighty God. Your trust in him puts pressure on his integrity. Pressure on his integrity. That's what brought some of you here from so far. You have put pressure on his integrity. I assure you he will not disappoint you. Hallelujah. All through scripture, the Bible is full of God's promises. And then attached to them are conditions that men must satisfy 
as a proof of their faith in God. God cannot assume you trust him. So he creates a condition so that you're activating that condition is proof of your partnership that I agree with you. It will be costly for me to take this water and then tell Pastor Ejimi, I want to force you to take. No, 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 no. I can't assume he's thirsty. Are we together? So I say, Ejimi, if you are thirsty, I have given you access to this. You're picking the water is proof that one you are thirsty but number two that you believe i'm not a liar now if you want to come and pick this water and the protocol stops you it you have you have obeyed you have put pressure on my own integrity and so i come in and i tell him no i instructed him he's acting based on his trust in me he's not acting based on rebellion the problem is never the devil the problem is our fear alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them number three quickly the third reason why people experience failure defeat perpetually is demonic oppressions demonic oppressions first John chapter 5 verse 19 demonic oppressions we live in a world that is full of demonic activities and the bible did not leave us in the dark as to the reality that there are forces of darkness that attempt to contend with the liberty of the saints it says and we know that we are of god read on and how many not nigeria the whole world does what lieth in wickedness like you say my child is lying on a carpet the whole world lies on a mystery of wickedness the condition to be a potential victim of this is that you are born of a woman the moment you arrive here that's all are we together now you know several people say who did I offend that all this trouble is in? all those things are they are just cultural ways of trying to manage pain the whole world lieth in wickedness the moment Jesus was born as a baby, all of a sudden, when a star came at the east, Herod, the spirit of the Antichrist, began to walk in Herod and they wanted to kill Jesus. Even in heaven, there was war. He said, There was war in heaven. A woman, I saw a mystery in heaven. A woman was about to give birth to a child, and a dragon came and stood waiting to eat the child and the bible says the earth fought for the woman and took the woman to a safe place hear me brothers and sisters the bible says forever O lord thy word is settled it tells you the location in it takes faith and the operation of god's word for it to be settled in your life it is settled in heaven hence the dexterity and the order in heaven but on earth there are still forces contending with the purposes of God and the Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 6 please give it to us verse 12 Ephesians 6 and then verse 12 for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities listen I want you to listen to my message against spiritual intelligence that message has bled so many people. I was talking with my mother, Jimmy, today and uh, my mother almost made me cry. And she said she was listening to spiritual intelligence so much and making several decisions in her life based on that. Spiritual intelligence will teach you not to waste your time. Being angry with men, fighting men, because every man, every man is just, is a physical form being manipulated by a reality from the realm of the spirit you have to know this it is never about your in-law it is never about your son it is never about your daughter no no wasting time on men will make you hate people you cannot love there is a revelation that sponsors love so even if people speak against you you know that they are not speaking of their own Peter tried to rebuke Jesus that you will not die on the cross he said Satan get thee behind me and he said Peter Satan desired Peter said which Satan we came here together satan desired to sift you like wheat but i have prayed for you that your faith fail not and when thou art converted strengthen your brethren because he will look for them too 
are we together it says but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against the spiritual wickedness in heavenly places Paul himself was not he did not leave the church in limbo as to the reality that at every point in your life there are forces that will attempt to mock God here's a revelation God gave me recently every sickness every oppression is like a letter Satan is writing to God he uses men like the canvas and says I am making a mockery of men to prove that your word is not true are we together now so when I trust God and I still come and I'm sick and the sickness is eating me it's not about you Satan does not even care he is trying to use men the highest of God's creation to make a statement to the heavens that bowing down you did not do I am now using your image to compel creation to bow down to me and so when God finds a witness men and women who represent the systems of God who represent portals that manifest the multifaceted possibilities of God in the earth they now begin to rewrite in the lives of men watch this so this lady come darling this lady has cancer it's eating her up that's a letter from satan it is never about the cancer satan does not care he's he's contented with the statement and the reaction of creation to him by reason of this are we together so when she comes for a miracle service like this god begins to rejoice not because he just became powerful finally an intercourse between need and supply listen every time hear me every time god heals a man it was not that night he planned to heal the man he had been navigating the need and the faith of that man to the grace the unction level it takes to produce that miracle and when two of them collide there must be a miracle i've taught you something listen oh let me not go ahead of myself i'm enjoying myself here very seriously listen this lady cancer now i've prayed for her and she's not healed that's a double message you see that that message now her faith begins to fail her because she's saying but but i mean does that mean my situation is different and she goes to god lord i love you i love you but then she begins to think and somebody comes to say look there's one man somewhere oh, i'm advising you all this your jesus thing me too i'm a christian i gave my life to christ before you were born i'm only telling you this what is there to just go and carry one goat i can't even give you half of the money you see it is a statement satan uses men their situations is like the pen he writes a letter to heaven watch the ones you claim you died for barren of your faithfulness yet you study from scripture I have been young and now I am old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken, not you see beg for bread. Then Satan comes to write a letter. That's why God is searching for men. He's not searching for men to give them titles. He's finding space in the earth through men. So that the multifaceted dimensions of his possibilities can be made manifest. Now, if this lady supernaturally gets healed, like the gentleman, look at the guy that, 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 um, that came back to life 25 people immediately 25 people because a dead body came back to life you can't deny that are we together that's a statement brothers and sisters tonight my father will write another statement yes he will yes he will see God does not just write anyhow. He writes in a way that he must force you to read it. His miracles are notable. Ask Moses. He made the bush to burn in such a way Moses could not ignore it. That's the same way somebody will walk out of this meeting and all of a sudden doors opening, 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 opening. Hallelujah. That's the God we serve. So when miracles 
are not just a proof that a man is anointed. That's the last reason for a miracle. Miracles are a message. It's a reply from God. Back to men and to the gates of hell. I am still faithful. The lion, the lamb. My benevolence is still in force. I am still good. My mercy endures forever. And he uses men. Sometimes you see in his wisdom, he just allows the devil to exhaust his knowledge. Then he comes in so cheaply and lifts a man and says, Satan, how about this? When you understand this, hear me. You will passionately pursue the presence and the power of God, not for fame. You are seeking to give God space. There is a statement that God needs to write to principalities and powers. They mock God in our life. Are we together? This is what happens. Because it's difficult. Brothers and sisters, we are humans. When your life has a track record of perpetual failure, it will test your faith. And that's when Satan comes and tries to say, where is your God? You are 39 years as a lady. You have loved God all your life. No marriage. And I'm here believing my life anyhow. I'm still married, but another man still wants to add another marriage to me. Look at two of us. Brothers and sisters, they are not speaking on their own. It's a letter. So it is good to give God thanks in that situation. But it's best to give God thanks in victory. Are we together? Yeah. Thank you. Demonic forces. They exist, they are real, and they have made nonsense. First Thessalonians 2:18. Please let's hurry up. First Thessalonians 2:18. The apostle was speaking, and he opened us up to something very, very profound. I want us to read together. Ready? One to read. Wherefore we would have come to you, even I, your breakthrough. But what happened? Help me please. Once and again, your breakthrough would have come to you. Your prayers answered already, but Satan hindered us. Satan can attempt to hinder men from meeting men. Satan can attempt to hinder things from meeting men. Are we together now? It's part of the reasons why we pray. We pray because in the place of prayer, we create our own climate and we command the forces of darkness. We enforce the victory of Christ and we clear the air for believers to receive the fullness of the blessings of God. The last reason, very quickly, and then we'll pray. Why do people experience limitations in their lives? They trivialize and ignore the place of spiritual empowerment. This is the last reason. The last reason, I've given you four reasons why people remain in perpetual defeat. They trivialize and ignore for many the place of spiritual empowerment. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. We celebrate the anointing of the Holy Spirit in this place. Not just the ministry of the Spirit. As you know, we're on a series, the Holy Spirit. He said, finally, my brethren, haven't told you all these other things. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of His. The word might there means His resources. His resources. The power that comes with his resources. There are arsenals. There are mysteries. There are supplies of graces and possibilities that make God God. And the Bible says we should be strong in that. The power, our access to those things is what gives us strength in this kingdom. Are we together now? There are powers of darkness that will arise and contend with believers once and again Psalm 66 verse 3 Psalm 66 
verse 3 let's read one to go say unto God how terrible art thou in thy ways help me please through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves brothers and sisters it takes power to reign in this kingdom it takes power to reign in this wicked world it will take power for you to rise and not compromise yet prosper it takes power it's more it takes more than sincerity in a wicked and a depraved world are you going to bribe no i will stand in for truth that means there is no promotion for you and you can remain there for decades are you from so 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 state no i'm not no you are not qualified for this position human sentiments it takes power to defy the wickedness of men it takes power hallelujah it takes power it takes power to build a ministry much more than wisdom it takes the ability of god it says rabbi john 3 verse 1 we know that thou art a man nicodemus seeing the mighty works of jesus christ they criticized him in the day but he smuggled his way to jesus in the night and said rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from god for no man can do these things except god be with him the anointing of the holy spirit is god's authorization upon a man to represent him God's authorization the anointing of the Holy Spirit is God's ability listen the capacity to produce God's result God's dimension of result can only be produced by his dimension of power and grace we trivialize the anointing because we have been taught that the anointing is for men of God and since I'm not being called into the fivefold ministry I do not need the anointing no brothers and sisters hear me the anointing the anointing i've said it again i want it to become a revelation in you that the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is the difference the difference between a man who rises out of death and out of every challenge is the anointing a thriving ministry and a struggling one the anointing a thriving career and a struggling one the anointing the anointing will be the difference between your next level and where you are now don't trivialize it don't say it is unnecessary no the anointing is god's advantage in the life of the believer it truly is an advantage i think it was the last set of school of ministry students i was teaching them when we we're doing pneumatology i was teaching them about the anointing and i said this is our wicked world people ask you who is your father it's an iron bender who is your mother she sells a car somewhere in the road no you cannot rise we are victims of the wickedness the sentiments the ethno-religious biases of men in a world where people want you to bring something you need the advantage not an advantage brothers and sisters the anointing can take you where anything can take anybody the anointing others may get there because of their connections Others may get there because Uncle So 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 went. And once you are there, they ask you, How did you come? And then you laugh. God's ability. God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. It's God's ability. God's ability. Working in me, it's working in me. That will be your testimony. It's God's ability. It's God's ability. Working in me. The anointing will always produce supernatural results. You've heard me say it. If it is the Lord's doing, then it must be marvelous in our eyes. If it is a man's doing, it is natural and logical. But brothers and sisters, when your result defies the natural progression, there is another agency other than you. 
when your results in any area of life listen they called Jesus they said he was casting out devils by Beelzebub he said if I use Beelzebub the prince of demons by whom do your fathers their fathers were casting out devils they fraternized with the realm of the spirit access powers higher than a human power and were producing results that statement shows that no man can do supernatural things without the assistance of a dimension higher than that which you know yes yes in this day and age brothers and sisters the world is waiting for supernatural outcomes you don't just tell somebody be healed that's arrogance without the anointing now let me show you something i've taught you this again and again but i feel like doing it let me use a thousand naira if you would permit me please look at this because so many people really do not understand the operation of the anointing i want you to learn this please by the grace of god and by the privilege of his grace i can tell you i understand the workings of the anointing i want you to pay attention and listen closely i may not boast of any other thing but i can tell you i understand how this thing works listen the anointing works like money watch this if i give you a jimmy 1000 naira do you know that there are many things this can buy 1000 naira can buy this but 1000 naira cannot buy a car are we together now so when if your desire is to buy a car you need multiples of 1000 it is good that you have 1000 but it is not sufficient to draw to your life the result this is how the anointing is don't say i'm anointed it must be to the level that is capable i thought this thing is energy physics defines power as work done per unit time that's the definition of the anointing god's ability that is dissipated per unit time to produce supernatural results that's the anointing listen if i try to lift this it doesn't mean i don't have energy it means the energy dissipated per unit time is small so i need another agency to assist me is that true believers this is how it is so it is not that the name of jesus is there is not working it is not that the anointing is not working the situation that you are confronted with this is why grace and peace is multiplied because there are situations that defy that current level so he says grace and peace be multiplied to you why is it multiplied how god anointed jesus acts 10 30. look at the extent to which he anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power let me show you how to be a blessing when you contend with the spirit to carry a dimension of grace and unction sufficient to solve most if not all the problems that you will find this is how you'll be a blessing if Dan Gote comes here now and decides to give everybody one one million how do you, how many of you know that's not a prayer point for him because it is within his capacity are we together if Koinonia decides to give everybody here one one million we'll have a problem somewhere correct not because we don't have money it is the limit of our capacity so it's not when when this guy has a problem it's like a shop there is a dimension of anointing required to solve it so when you come to help him it's not just that you laid hands he may even fall down but the money is short what do you need more 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 of the same thing not more of a different thing more of what the same so Benny Hinn can climb the stage and he's not even held the mic and 40 people rise out of the wheelchair you see that the anointing upon his life makes him see clearer the might and the possibilities of God when you are not heavily anointed you create a wrong picture of God because you struggle for little results and it looks like that's how much God tried to release that result but watch another man who comes with grace and unction and you watch ease as a testimony it's called capacity the anointing makes God look limitless in the affairs of men this is why regardless of the results here and there that God produces we still remain in the secret place 
because there is more brothers and sisters there are people scattered here tonight if i ask everybody to come and hold the mic people will not travel from end to end there are people following from over 45 nations of the world they are not sitting down and wasting their time no no people want solutions now a man of god gets up here called joshua selman i would be a wicked man if i have not stayed with god sufficient enough at least at the level of the growth to be able to partner with the holy spirit that's why we cry for his mercy because there are many situations that we need results beyond our current levels of dealings with God. And we need the mercy of God to superimpose the current level of grace that we carry. That's why sometimes I tell you that God does not heal people just through a man's faith. He switches to the covenant that that man has with him. And it becomes a platform upon which he reaches men. Are we together? Tonight... Let me tell you, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that there is grace to cause your mountains to look like valleys. Yes, yes. It doesn't take time. It only takes time when an insufficient dimension of the anointing presents it. Learn this about the anointing. The anointing can greatly misrepresent God. It's like a television that is not well tuned. It will make you think the producers were that poor until you take the same video to a clearer HD television. And that's when you watch the artistry of those people. The anointing can misrepresent the capacity of God. Hallelujah. I take time to teach like this. Because the miracles and all this will not take time. Once your heart is aligned to receive, then you will receive miracles upon miracles. Are we together? This is how he gets glory. When he finds men who are heavily anointed. Please hear me. Never be caught up by the results you currently have now no matter how great i tell you you ask the lord my work with god is as if i don't have an iota of his anointing in my life there is a standard and there is a capacity that i'm working with god and i seek to get i have seen them in dreams and visions and i did not see this current level we are trusting god for levels where before koinonia starts before the first prayer point half of the people who come sick are already healed completely one woman one of our mothers i met a new mother new wonderful mother in portacourt lovely people those of you from portacourt i know they are listening to me now they are following me lovely lovely woman i love you with all my heart and um, the whole family i mean they are just into this ministry with their heart she donated her car and everything for them to use for the program and she shared a testimony i think it was yesterday that touched me she had been having some kind of respiratory problems and so when they picked me from the airport her children insisted that she would sit down at that same place and that woman said she just sat down and the children drove her home brothers and sisters that was the end of it now listen listen when you understand the anointing there is something interesting about it when you understand the anointing and you are heavily anointed the more heavy you are anointed the will your will plays little role in its release it becomes wherever ask the woman with the issue of blood jesus did not even listen now he was not planning she just touched him and jesus said who touched me the anointing didn't say jesus can i flow no. so you can be in a restaurant you are eating and all of a sudden now you will never believe what i'm saying if you are casually anointed if you truly are anointed you become a blessing you greet somebody just shake his hand and that day he has more customers than he can ever imagine now even you you do not know till he tells you an effulgence of spiritual possibilities you your life has become a gateway and a portal revealing a dimension of possibility that is not affordable to the natural man i welcome you tonight to this place where god has chosen by his spirit to reveal the multifaceted dimensions of his grace and glory please rise up on your feet
I want you to just pray two prayer points from the depth of your heart. Number one, I'd like you to insist and say, Lord, I release my faith. There is no challenge I came here with tonight that will return back. Go ahead and pray. Prophesy, declare it. I wave every captivity goodbye. Jesus is Lord. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Shala prakato sete katapanda shabrakada bala. Shikiti paratos kapratas kalabasya. Pray. I believe in the mighty God. Dera na 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 shela na. Shikada bala kataprakato shikiti. Shibres kete shalabanda katai. I have found David my servant and with my holy oil have I anointed him. It's a realm of your glory. It's a realm of your grace. I can see your mighty power moving in this place. We're in the presence of angels with God's glory on the wings. And like the voice of many waters. I can hear the angels sing You are holy You are holy You are holy You are holy Ta-da-da 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 One last prayer point father take me to a new dimension there is always more lift your voice and pray take me to a new dimension take me to a new dimension are you praying take me to a new level let me not need to tell people that I came before your presence let there be an evidence let there be a testimony Nina ka wo ya bo sarki salama Nina ka wo ya 
I want you to trust God. Please hear me, especially for the visitors here. I want you to trust God that the forces and the yokes that stand between you and your destiny, you have to believe that they will live now. Are we together? I want you to believe God. There are people already receiving their deliverances and miracles. I want to pray for you now. My heart is heavy because in this season, and in this time, God wants to set people free. Some of you may not know the causes of the situations, the challenges, the things you go through. You have prayed, you have fasted. God has brought you here tonight. And he will give you a dramatic miracle. Are we together now? Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Jesus, the presence of God is here. Listen, I want to pray for you. I see a writing. I just see a writing in the realm of the spirit. And I see great breakthrough. This is what I see. Great breakthrough. There is a grace that is coming on people now. The Lord is starting off with us tonight. Bringing strange breakthrough to people. I want to pray now. At the count of three. In the name that is above all names. I decree and declare. In the name of the Lord God whose I am. Right now, at the count of three, I release that grace. I command every devil standing on the way to anyone's breakthrough. I command that you leave right now. In the name of Jesus. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. One, two, three. Go now. Go now. Bring them out. Shake it, take a Inside and outside. hallelujah lift your hands my god i still see these breakthroughs i'm seeing doors opening in the realm of the spirit listen i'm seeing at least 17 people 
17 people i'm going to pray and the power of god will come upon you strange doors opening right now in the name of jesus i declare by the count of three one two three open now open now i command it i declare it now now open doors by the spirit of god open doors open doors Sator Seketa. my god doors opening over lives opening over destinies opening by the spirit of god by the spirit of god your hands and pray the Lord is showing me people here with strange delays you love God but strange delays I'm seeing like arrows in the spirit and this is not from darkness it will come upon you once it comes upon you know that that delay will end right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands as I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus Lord where are they men and women who have been delayed strangely right now right now right now I command that light and power that light and power ending delays now mighty in this place Mighty in this place, you are mighty in this place. Mighty in this place, you are mighty in our I'm seeing something strange in the spirit coming upon sisters. I'm seeing a strange grace for speed. Just sisters, sisters, I'm seeing this. And the Lord is asking me to prophesy it. As soon as I prophesy it, there is a strange unction coming on ladies for strange speed. I see this in the realm of the spirit. Now, Lord, I place the word of God upon this prophecy. And I declare, ladies, step into speed now. Supernatural speed. Run like Elijah. I command it. I decree it. In the name of Jesus. Strength speed. Strength speed. Strength speed. It's coming on you now. Like the dew of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening my eyes to a vision now, and I'm seeing keys being given to people. Keys, listen, keys. It will come on you like fire. I see keys these keys are solutions and strategies solutions and strategies solutions and strategies you will help me shout that name Jesus again I see keys being handed over to people according to the grace and mercy of God now Lord I pray that even as you have shown me whoever 
should be a recipient of this spiritual blessing i decree and declare that it will come upon their lives now are you ready at the count of three get ready now my god my god my god one for you but let me just do what the Lord is asking me to do I've told you many of you wonder when you see me do this particular thing where I just mention a state and the Lord begins to touch people from that state it's a sign and wonder you see these things they are operations of the spirit because the Lord is opening my eyes right now I'm seeing a map of Nigeria and I'm seeing the hand of God on south 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 that entire region now now, all those who come from that region, South, 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 a miracle. Now, Baton Shekete, Lepre Teketo Sumata, Lakata Praskata Bashikete, in the name of the Lord Jesus, South, South. Ending captivities by the Spirit of the Living God. Holy, 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 there is somebody in overflow too you are holding a picture you are holding photos please come overflow too by the roadside let the person come let the person come quickly you are holding a picture the lord is showing me someone please let let that person whoever he is or she is please quickly you are holding a picture run come you are wearing like blue uh, is it blue or black now who is that come Don't worry mama i'm going to pray for you where is your daughter ma no mike i'm looking at you hold on is this her i'm looking at you and the holy spirit is taking me and i'm in kano where is she she's at kano where is she that's what i'm saying she's at kano and the lord why 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 are you holding her picture is she up there up to now she have made that get married uh -uh. And this, this, day, she's sick. this is what i'm saying this is what god wants to destroy because i'm seeing her in kano and you are standing in for her yes i'm supposed to pray for those outside but i saw this and the lord is saying i should minister to you go and tell her that the lord brings her life this sickness is over <laughs> hallelujah sir where are you coming from mina niger state niger state Thank the Lord because your car would have had an accident on the way coming. And the Lord has brought you deliverance. Is this your family? Yes, sir. This is your family. Yes, sir. One, two, three, four. How many children? Four children. Have you stopped giving birth? Do you think this is all? I'm looking in a vision and I'm seeing one more, a baby girl. After this. Hold my hand, sir. But the Lord is going to, I'm seeing you have serious problem with finances very serious you are not a lazy man 
even you you cannot explain how you got into this kind of trouble but i want to pray for you because the lord is saying i should release you from this hold my hands sir i bring you life in the name of jesus christ you will go back and return with a strange this man's life will change like day and night in the name of jesus christ mama please come I don't know this woman but I'm asked to pray for you I look at you in the realm of the spirit and I'm seeing two hands like this you're a woman of prayer this is what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit look at me man you love God sincerely but many things are going around they are scattered in your life and you have been asking can God come can God step in even when you were there you were praying that prayer I had you praying and the Lord is saying I should tell you he's giving you rest today is giving you supernatural rest madam please stand up please stand up man please stand up where are you coming from madam it's from sabon gary you are coming hold my hands in the name of jesus the son of the living god your life will turn around and that of your family this is by the spirit of god by the anointing of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ have i prayed for you darling come in the name of jesus i end captivity from your life by the power of the Holy Spirit right now in the name of Jesus I end captivity don't worry I mustn't speak to you as I lay my hands on you I want to believe there's someone you are outside your baby is sick run with the person and come now you are outside your baby is sick run with the person and come now that is sir can I pray for you sir I'm going to pray for you and the Lord is going to give you peace and the Lord is going to raise people to help you now sincerely speaking i want to be honest with you it is not within my power to stop you from getting married i we generally can only advise because you see let me teach you something especially as a pastor there are people who are following us from 45 nations of the world and when you are ministering sensitive things like this um they are listening and every territory has laws are we together now things are a bit flexible in nigeria but if i were in america and i'm talking to this man like this and saying don't marry another wife the son can go and sue me or the ministry so this is the reason why it's not maybe lack of faith are we together sir it is not within my power and i have no right to judge you i can only declare the counsel of god and pray for you um this is very important when you are speaking to people although by the spirit it is important to be wise in your communication so that you do not say things that will bring you serious problem mama you are praying and you are still telling god there is one more thing you want to tell me i'm hearing your prayers come what is it give her the mic is that true you are standing there and you are praying and you are saying you wish that i can call you again there is one more issue what is the issue Marriage, your daughter's marriage uh, ma mama let's let's pray if that is the issue you are a good woman i want to pray for your daughters and god said that's not what you need hold it what you need is destiny help us mama as i'm looking at you now they're about to throw you out of the house because your rent has expired give her the mic is that true yes sir. you need somebody to help you yes sir. seriously yes, sir. if not the time will come even what to eat will become an issue the lord said i should tell you forget this issue of marriage hmm? the major issue is the ministry of destiny helpers Amen. lord send people Amen. you see we must pray that god will grant us grace so that we can help our mothers it's a terrible thing for a woman at this age to be praying as if she never had a child as if she never trained anybody that's why we cause the spirit of delay that makes people to be established very late now according to scripture a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children but sadly being as the situation is we must be able to turn back and be a blessing to these our loved ones a woman like this at her age should not be going around trying to look for food to eat again I pray that your loved ones will not look for food to eat. That God himself will empower you and establish you and send you help. Mama, don't cry. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, the Lord will help you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. See me after the service, madam. 
in Jesus name thank you I pray for you sir in the name of Jesus may the Lord change your life change your situation right now in the name of Jesus you are the one with the child please come we're going to pray for the sick now very quickly what's wrong with him he's running temperature this evening just this evening yes sir but he has been having persistent cough cough Coffee. let's pray for him Lord Jesus I pray for this your dear son by the anointing of the Holy Spirit I decree and declare that this boy be made whole right now and for you his mother I command that everything the devil wants to put in your stomach let it leave you right now in the name of Jesus Christ I pray please why are they here mama come please stand up the Lord is visiting you the Lord is saying I should tell you he's taking away reproach and pain Amen. from Amen. your life Amen. this is what he's saying please stand up please stand up man that he's rolling away reproach you see as God speaks to one person he's only using one person as a point of contact to speak to everyone it doesn't mean that we have to call you the time will not let that happen are we together now for instance madam are you from Kaduna who is from Kaduna uh -uh, uh -uh, not just a person a woman there is a mama from Kaduna that I want to speak to now is a young lady now I, I, a, a mama like elderly woman there's a woman who came here from Kaduna not a young lady please I, I want to just speak to that person very quickly mommy look at me you have gone through so much pain the Lord is saying I should tell you it's your children that will wipe your tears it's your children that will wipe your tears may the Lord raise them and may they wipe your tears I pray for you in Jesus name why is she here you are the deeper life um, lady you are you are a member of deeper life are you sure hold my hands lord jesus i pray that you do a miracle in her life right now put your hand on your stomach god is taking something away from your stomach now i curse it something is leaving you now as i hold your hands you are even surprised even you you would not have known that there's something there I'm seeing like a malignant growth, something that will later develop to a fibroid. I curse it by the God of heaven right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be over now in Jesus' name. Come, my brother. You are James. I will pray for all of you, but you love Jesus. You love Jesus. I have to pray for you. Come. What's your name? Your name is James. Do you love Jesus? I prayed for one boy, one miracle service. Very bad friends. And I'm still seeing it again. I don't know where that guy is. And the Lord is asking that we pray for him again. You see, all these gentlemen, you have to be careful. It's important for us to be serious with God so that you don't land yourself in the police station. Hold my hands. I pray for you. The Lord is bringing restoration to your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural restoration, sir. I pray for you you will not I don't know what is making I'm seeing a thermometer up and down your chest and the Lord is saying I should rebuke anything that has to do with your blood pressure in Jesus name I command that it leaves you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit I pray for all of you come sir let me just make contact with you very quickly in the name of Jesus Christ Hasana Hasana, we're going to pray for the sick now. We have to be very fast. Hasana. Hasana, I'm seeing someone with the name Hasana. Is there someone like that? Please, very quickly. Hasana, whether you're inside, outside. Hasana, from Kogi State. Hasana. Are you not Sado's sister? Is your name Hasana? You are sure? Look at me. The Lord is bringing restoration. Restoration. The Lord is saying I should stretch my hands on you. In the name of Jesus. May you be a benefactor of the mercy of God. The mercy of the living God. The mercy of the living God. The mercy of the living God. The mercy. Yes, it's alright if your names are Hassan. The mercy of the living God. 
your name too your name is Hassanah interested in what I'm saying. Hold my hands, my dear. The Lord is bringing breakthrough to your family. There is a spirit that oppresses you and it must leave you now. Go! Now! In the name of Jesus, I curse you by the God of heaven. Let her go. Never to return. In the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> She's afraid already. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. The light shineth in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. This lady, you see, she's smiling. But there is a serious case. There is a very mad, wild spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's a reason why I ask her to hold my hands. This lady has been tormented and oppressed in a way that you cannot imagine. Now I command that spirit. This is koinonia. I curse you by the God of heaven. Be gone now. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus Christ, you would see a gentle lady like this and she would not know what is responsible for her life. This doesn't mean she's a devil. It doesn't mean she's possessed. No. It's just the advantage that Satan takes over the lives of people. I command in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you what is wrong with this lady is not a little issue. This thing doesn't show on the face. So you just see people smiling. But they are victims of a lot of things. Let me pray for you, my dear. Come. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring you life now. Life, come. The devil wants to bring pain to your life. Hold my hands. I command it to come to an end now. Pain, repeated cycles of tragedies. I curse it by the God of heaven. An anointing is coming upon you and the Lord himself is giving you a supernatural miracle right now. There are three ladies. I just heard the cry of children. And there are three ladies. You are standing in for your families now. As I'm speaking, the anointing of the Holy Spirit is going to come upon them. Standing in for their families. Standing in for their families. Standing in for their families. Let the oppression in your family end now. This girl's family has gone through all kinds of things. This is koinonia. I bring you the life and power that is in the name of Jesus. Now, this is what we're going to do. Please listen very carefully. Um, you know that we take out time to minister more specifically to people. I wish that we had all the time, but we have to work with time. And... Um, we are going to pray for the sick now. Please listen. Whether you are inside or outside, if you are trusting God, listen please. Whether you are inside or outside, aside from these particular cases, if you are trusting God for fruitfulness for your loved one or any other person, whether you are inside or outside, please don't come in at random. I want you to come in. I want to minister to you myself. Aside from that, now we are going to pray for the sick. Overflow one, please all of you should walk to the front of your projector. You'll be ministered to. Overflow two and the one's extension of overflow four, please walk to the projector stand outside. Overflow three, walk to your projector stand outside. Very quickly and those inside here, I want you to just walk out to me very quickly. We are going to minister to people in that order. There are so many people, it has pleased the Lord to make this place a place of supernatural miracles. Please, it, it doesn't matter where you stand. If you are outside, don't come in. Just move to your projector outside. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We are going to minister to you now. It will be very fast. Whilst we are doing that, please, your prayer request. If you've not written your prayer request or that of your loved ones, those online you're yet to write, do that quickly so that the ushers can follow and then we'll do that very quickly. Every other thing from here will now be the prophetic declarations. There are so many people inside and outside. We are going to pray for the sick. The Lord has given us the grace, He's given us the capacity. There are people going through all kinds of things and um, in as much as we teach you how to live in health, 
and wholeness we cannot allow the devil buffet you some of you are standing in for your loved ones some of you are standing here with incurable diseases hiv you've heard the testimonies there is nothing that has not been healed in this house sir the lord is going to heal you you will not die that virus will not kill you you hear what i'm saying i don't mean to embarrass you i hope you are not embarrassed because i look at you if i don't pray for you i'm seeing very soon this thing will eat you up i don't have to say more than that but you know what i'm talking about there is no virus there is no situation that has not been healed in this place and you know we don't announce miracles if they are not medically verified so that it doesn't look like people are just faking things so believe the lord especially if you are here for the first time it doesn't matter who ministers to you i just want you to believe there is a corporate grace that is at work here to minister and bring miracles to people will be very fast please those outside you'll be very fast uh pastor jimmy let's see um you handle overflow one outside um pastor alpha overflow two um pastor femi let's see pastor femi and promise go to overflow three mike you walk with a jimmy outside there and then um have i told you where to go to okay so would we'll go in that order i'm sure that i may just walk it alone here there are a number of people who are not here we give those opportunities because it's also an opportunity to train and build people please quickly let's go father we agree that the corporate grace you have released upon this house and this family for miracles let it be released regardless of who ministers we minister in the name of jesus we bring that name that is above all names over every situation let your anointing speak this is the moment oh god where you cure the incurable this is the moment where you step into the lives of people let it be a quick walk let everyone here return with testimonies in jesus name i'm going to begin to minister to you but there's one person here the anointing of the spirit will come upon you so strongly that will be the signal of the grace to minister here right now this is the, don't don't mind me i do all my crazy things um let's just walk by the spirit someone here in front the anointing of the spirit will come on you in such a mighty way the moment that happens then i begin to pray for the sick now thank you jesus for your mighty power that's the person down there so i can pray for you now bless you father thank you all right guys let's give god the very best please you can sit down you can sit down while you are sitting let's be praying because as soon as i'm done praying for the sick we'll address other issues very quickly so that we can finish on time the lord bless you in jesus name Please help them, whether you are an Osha or not. New levels. There are people God is fishing out here. New dimensions. Shebros kaparu shabradi salatush. Shebros katapran dega dego shalabradi asha. Engreto susa brigatia. It's a call to your spirit man. It's a call to your spirit man. This is not for everybody. It's a call to your spirit man. If it's your call, you will hear it. 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 You must hear it. If it's your call, you will hear it. Your spirit will pick the signals of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The spirit of prophecy is upon that man. Who can stand against the Lord? No one. No one. Who can stand against our King? No one. No one. Who 
are going to pray listen praying on the request is not a ritual it's not a ritual no but listen brothers and sisters we bring this prayer request before the God of heaven representing the pain of people representing the mockery of darkness and you've seen all sorts of miracles that has come from here and we're going to pray now the Lord is asking me to take off my shoes we're going to pray right now please I want you to participate I take time to explain this so that we all understand um, I may not be able to minister to everybody one by one but this is a representation of the cry and the request of people the other people are ministering to those outside don't worry those outside if they are still ministering to you just hang on those who um, have been ministered to already please just follow your screen can we stretch our hands in one minute and I like you to just pray in the spirit pray in the spirit to the God of heaven who answers prayers Jesus Jesus the son of the living God Jibrakato salabranda gadabash Mali brando zibragadash Now arise, O Lord Come to your resting place Brood upon these requests Let there be mighty, mighty, mighty miracles Mighty miracles Jesus Christ I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that every request here represented tonight is turned into a testimony it's turned into a testimony in the name of Jesus the Son of the living God every request here no matter how impossible is turned into strange and speedy testimonies in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that for every request you have written here and all the ones online I release my faith and in the name of Jesus I declare let this be the last time you will submit this request the last time you will submit this request let this be the last time you will submit this request unto him that answers prayers the one who has beckoned on us to approach his throne without fear to approach with boldness and confidence we decree and declare in the name of jesus most high the son of the living god every request here i say again is turned into a testimony in the name of jesus turned into a testimony by the power of the Holy Spirit turned into a testimony by the power of the Holy Spirit turned into a testimony hallelujah this is the last phase of the meeting I want to pray and prophesy upon your life it will never tire me to say this 
in my opinion the greatest part of this service is what is about to happen now because believers are used to charismatism falling down rolling and so on and so forth we many times downplay the place of prophecy prophecy is very powerful and have taught us that there are two dimensions to the operation of the prophetic there is the revelatory dimension of the prophetic that God allows by his spirit to bring comfort to bring access to light and information that works hand in hand with the gift of the word of knowledge but the greater and more superior dimension of the prophetic is the creative dimension of prophecy where the word of God makes realities that have no business happening to happen the word creates a scene and adds it to the pages of your life so that something you had no business walking in you will all of a sudden find yourself walking in it and remember i told us the last discussion before we began to pray that one of the greatest reasons why people are limited is because of inadequate dimension of the anointing so alongside this prayer i'm going to be praying a prayer of impartation there are people th this thing is not just for showmanship listen if you know god and you love him and you see the needs of people you will covet the unction and the grace of god this has nothing to do with showmanship when people begin to make showmanship out of it is is inaccurately used hallelujah let's correct things now let's recreate things now Please lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive. Rejoice, rejoice for Emmanuel has come to us, his Israel. In the name that is above all names. I decree and declare right now every door that has been closed over anyone here in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I command that door be open now be open now be open The Bible says have you heard of this saying that a city gives birth in one day but he said as soon as Zion travails he says she shall give birth to son I decree and declare whatever you have been incubating for a long time revealed to you by the spirit but yet to manifest there is grace for performance and I command that you must have a manifestation now I decree it I declare it by the power of the Holy Ghost Manifested blessings, manifested miracles. Hallelujah. I decree and declare where you have to struggle for everything, labor for everything. I open you up to a dimension of prepared blessings. I open you up to a dimension of prepared blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know who has despised the grace of God upon your life. He said, and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. I prophesy to you, may an unction come upon your life tonight that will distinguish you. I decree it. I declare it. May an unction come upon your life tonight that distinguishes you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says Elijah told Ahab saddle your ass and run for I hear the sound of the abundance of rain and Ahab was already light years ahead 
of Elijah but the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and all of a sudden he started running on barefoot listen the Bible says that the disciples were six hours ahead of Jesus moving on their boat and Jesus got up and started walking on water there are many of you there are several things that have limited your pace I want to prophesy speed for you there is a grace that makes men to pursue to overtake to recover I speak to you in the name of Jesus as I pray for you the anointing of God will come on some of you and you will want to run physically please hold them I release that grace that grace for speed receive that grace now no delay I command speed speed of accomplishment speed of accomplishment in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah Isaiah 6 it says arise shine for your light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you it says for darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people it says but upon you the glory of the Lord shall arise verse 3 says Gentiles you won't look for them again Gentiles shall come to your light and even their arrogant kings to the brightness of your rising it says where you have been deserted so that no man passes through you I will make you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations I decree and declare from today every gift you have every dream every ability that is dormant and not being blessed and rewarded I command Gentiles to come to your light now. I command Gentiles to come to your light, to come to your business, to come to your profession, to come to your ministry. I make it so by the Spirit of the Living God. hallelujah and David said is there any man of the house of Saul that I may show him kindness and they went to bring a crippled man called Mephibosheth and when he came he sat down with David and he says you will continue to dine with me here in the name of Jesus where your strength cannot take you Satos where your current level of achievement cannot take you I decree and declare may the hand of God that picks a man from a dunghill to a place of prominence may that hand pick you to the next level of your life may that hand pick you to the next level of your life hallelujah it says and I will restore to you the years alas master for it was borrowed they borrowed an axe head and it fell double trouble and he said no don't worry where fell it I want to speak to people here who have lost things you have lost relationships you have lost money you have lost opportunities there is a system in the kingdom where they can call back things he said they are taking for a prey and none say yet restore in the name of Jesus by the name of he who can manipulate time and make yesterday become tomorrow and tomorrow become yesterday I command a restoration now I command a restoration now I command Hear me anyone here called jobless you are looking for a job or any of your loved ones in the parable that Jesus gave he saw some people sitting idle he said why sittest thou idle he said no man employ us and he said go to the vineyard when he speaks there is always a job in the name of Jesus I create a space for you now in the name of the Lord Jesus I create a space for you now I speak anyone here or anyone standing for any family that has had delay especially in the area of fruitfulness 
he said be fruitful the first command he gave man right now in the name of jesus hear me mary said how shall these things be seeing that i know not a man he didn't say joseph will come he said the power of the highest shall overshadow you therefore i prophesy everything that represents unfruitfulness it dies now in the name of jesus it dies now in the name of jesus i speak to everyone god worry carry your children now carry your children now every aspect of your life that represents barrenness be it in the works of your hands be it in your finances in the name of jesus the son of the living god i command supernatural results supernatural results supernatural results i pray for those who wrote jam and didn't like their results i change the result now i change the result now i change the results now hallelujah every family here that has refused to move forward i don't care for what reason in the name that is above all names your accomplishment for the next one month will dwarf what you have done in the last five years in the name of jesus believe it help them please believe it in the name of jesus hallelujah this is one of my favorite blessings to people the ministry of destiny help us I discovered brothers and sisters hear me that it always flows from God through men everything money can buy relationships can buy it there are needless battles needless battles that relationships can solve the distance between you and the next testimony may just be a relationship but you see no destiny helper comes by his by himself they are called they are called they never come by themselves they do not even know he says the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon in the name of jesus whoever must speak for you in high places in this season whoever must endorse the testimony of god upon your life as a man of god as a businessman whoever must advocate for you where your voice cannot reach I prophesy to the north, I prophesy to the south, I prophesy to the east and west. Wherever your destiny helpers are, I command them to come into your life now. I command them to come into your life now. Hallelujah. Listen, I know a woman years ago when we held our crusade in 2009 in Abuja, it was her camp that we used she's not even educated but she had access to two people a very wealthy family that needed a miracle and she prayed for them and they became destiny helpers let me tell you something the easiest way to be wealthy is through relationships somebody can get up by the spirit and make you a partaker of his blessings are we together now we've discussed on finances and all the principles but brothers and sisters there is a dimension of speed that god can give a man and this is to help you be established fast so that you can focus on the purposes of the kingdom there is this spirit that makes people to be established so late it's not that they are lazy you cannot be established over hundred thousand per month believe me you cannot be established over fifty thousand per month you are too generous to even keep that money and whilst you give god will orchestrate men but we have learned that satan can hinder them and pray specifically for finances i want to invoke the mystery of divine supply there is such a reality like supernatural provision this ministry is a, is a tearsome testimony of what happens when men covenant with themselves to make sure you rise he said men came to david in the cave of adulam entered a covenant with themselves that they must make him king you don't need plenty of people you just need one person anointed and directed wherever your financial helper is 
in the name that is above all names i declare that between now and the next two weeks of june may they appear in your life may they appear in your life may they appear in your life hallelujah every dying business here every dying career every dying ministry that is as though you are not called i give life to that which is dying now i give life to that which is dying now hallelujah father it is my prayer from my heart for your people that by miracle service june you will return here 10 times better literally 10 times better hallelujah please lift your hands i want to release something there are people here you love god i gave you an example of this anointing there needs to be an upgrade you see the thing with the anointing is if it is there it is there if it is not there it is not there it's as simple as that the anointing is a very obvious quality of god it's not something you struggle to see there are many of us especially pastors we are trusting God for certain dimensions of grace. It can manifest as anything. Wisdom, strategies, supernatural grace, the grace for performance. I want to pray for you. Activations are very necessary to drive people into great results. I stretch my hands right now. In the name of Jesus, every dimension of the anointing that is available in this house every dimension from prophetic dimensions there are people receiving it now there are others is being activated others is being multiplied in the name of Jesus I open you up now strange levels of the prophetic strange levels the eyes that see and the ears that hear the impulses of the spirit I pray right now the manifestation of the spirit of revelation receive it right now revelation inside 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 take it now take it now revelation revelation into the mysteries of the kingdom hallelujah every operation of the gift of the spirit that is barren in your life are needed for your destiny i stretch my hands and i activate it now receive it right now i activate it now i activate it now i activate it now by the power of the holy spirit i release upon you right now fresh mantle for leadership supernatural dimension of the leadership grace let it come upon you you may be weak but it will distinguish you in the name of Jesus Christ. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God. It is he that giveth thee power. Brothers and sisters, there is such a thing called the power, the anointing, the unction, the capacity to create an atmosphere around you that attracts wealth. I don't know how many people it will please the Lord to release this grace but I stretch my hands let it please the God of heaven to bring men into this dimension right now receive it now the power to prosper the power to prosper you may be weak but the power to prosper bring in favor the ministry of men into your life hallelujah I don't know what has brought your prayer life down but right now in the name of Jesus fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar capacity to pray in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ hear me whoever fights you goes down instantly I say it again whoever fights you whether in the secret or the open goes down instantly It says you shall call 
on Aaron and his sons. He said, and you shall take your honor and give him. Honor is a mantle. It's transferable. Let me tell you, this thing called honor is not about accomplishment. There is a grace that makes people distinguish. I pray for you from today. That grace for honor, I release it upon your life. May you be honored at the gates of your destiny. May you be strangely honored at the gates of your destiny. Whoever has said over his dead body for you to move forward, tonight may their prayers be answered. Yes. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points and we're done. I pray for your family. We believe in family in this place. No matter how lifted you are, if your family is not lifted, he said, as for me and my house, we believe in family. We pray for our children, whether in the womb or born. We pray. I prophesy over every family here that the devil is trying to corrupt the testimony of God's faithfulness. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, supernatural lifting for every family. 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 And finally, I pray for you. In a way you have never seen, whoever looks at your face, I compel them to favor you. Listen, the Bible says, Esther found favor on everyone that looked at her. For as long as you made contact with Esther, and you looked at her face you were compelled by an anointing believe me i have seen this thing work in my life i prophesy to you men who have no business blessing you as they look at you i compel it from their spirit may they bless and favor you may they bless and favor you may they bless and favor you thank you for lifting Thank you for lifting. 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 We're rounding up, but the Lord is giving me a word here. The Lord is speaking to a family here. And he's saying, I should tell you, it will be like a dream. When in three weeks, it will change your life. It will be like a dream. 21 days, in three weeks, he will change your life. Whoever this is for, I release it to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is also speaking to one person. You are going to start a business next month on the 5th. And I'm seeing before 31st, it has made you a millionaire. In the name of Jesus. I'm not motivating you. I'm speaking as the Spirit is giving me unction. You don't believe it, you will never see it. Never, ever see it. Every difficulty you came here with, in the name of Jesus, you leave it down here and walk back free. In the name of Jesus. Quickly, in one minute, everyone still standing. I want to make two altar calls now, very quickly. The first, please keep standing, everybody. No moving around inside, outside, please. There are people here, men and women, who you have seen the things that the Lord has done by His Spirit. Please, let's keep standing to honor them. And whilst you watch the power of God move, the Holy Spirit began to convict you that you need to belong to this family of faith, the family of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are saying, man of God, if you will pray for me, I'm ready to completely surrender my heart to Jesus. I don't care how many times you have come out in response to an altar call. The second category of people who will join them are those who at one time you have made commitments for the Lord Jesus Christ, but you have found yourself derailing in many ways and you're saying, man of God, if you will lead me, I will run. I will run. Run to Jesus now these two categories of people i know there are people outside overflow one two three wherever you are please our time is gone i want you to run like there's fire on the mountain i'm going to count five 
wherever you are leave your seat and run now please clear the way for them one quickly quickly let's honor them as they come quickly run to jesus now please quickly inside outside young and old quickly quickly i have decided to follow jesus no turning back run to jesus no turning Please keep coming don't sit back there now look at me brothers and sisters i appreciate you for this great decision you have made the bible says as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away when you come to him he has the power to make you you have no ability to change yourself but you have the willingness to hand over your life i want to pray for you listen i don't want you to just recite this as a poem i want you to mean it from the depth of your heart standing before jesus the firstborn among we the begotten and his holy church I want you to make this confession from the depth of your heart lift your right hand as a symbol of surrender and say after me Lord Jesus say it again Lord Jesus I believe in you that you died for me you shed your blood for me you rose again for me tonight I willingly receive your life into my spirit I declare with my mouth the Lord Jesus and I confess with my heart that God raised him from the dead I declare right now that eternal life is mine I receive it into my spirit I'm free from the power of sin the flesh and Satan from today I move forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted I pray for you spirit of the living God you represent the presence of Jesus now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm praying in a very supernatural way spirit of the living God by the power of the Holy Spirit let these ones never be the same again in the name of jesus christ may they never be the same again i pray by the power of the holy spirit that their lives will be objects of praise in the name of jesus i declare your sins forgiven i declare a new life for you i break away from you every influence of darkness capable of jeopardizing the quality of god's life in you i release you to be victorious I make you victorious by the power that is in the name of Jesus hallelujah praise the Lord thank you for this great decision now I want you to follow the lady waving her hands they would um, lead you outside have a few details and then um, just communicate a few things to you please cooperate with them the Lord bless you I love you and congratulations very quickly please guide them guide them very quickly let's do this as fast as we can Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season, 
it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain 